It's Friday! <laughs> How we doing guys? How we doing? Need to readjust. Oh, I think I did my hair and my coffee. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> How we doing? Good morning, Benny! Benny, what are you doing here? Oh my good morning, IRX. How to do? How to do? Drunk, how are you doing? Jerry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We got a non spill non -spil proof coffee today. So. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it will be fine. <laughs> hopefully, I will not spill it. How are we doing? How is our how's our lovely Friday going? My desk is a mess. I've got crap all over it. I don't have any snacks for the dog either. I've been really tired, so I slept in. I slept in. And then I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, am I sitting in the retro category? Oh, bum holes. I'm tired. Did I mention I'm tired? I didn't I didn't mean to be in the retro category. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, don't report me to Jeff Bezos, please. Jeff gets so angry when I sit in the wrong category. Hey Chad, Chad, I didn't, I didn't, Chad. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. Um, I, I slept in today, which is why I'm not, um, not fully prepared for stream. Which kind of means, yeah, I got, yeah, I got an extra hour, so it wasn't too bad. 
Uh, but who is ready to know what next thing happened? <laughs> what next shitty thing happened in my life? <laughs> Who's ready for that? Guess who had to go to dog A and E? Well, it wasn't me. Guess who? Uh, guess who had to go to doggy A and E? Oh, Susan, come here! And just like that, she appear. She appear. Hello, hello. I don't. I don't have any snackies for you. I'm sorry. I don't have any snackies, and off you go. Bye. Now it was Suzu. It was Su I know. So I, I would have guessed Greg as well. Now it was um, Suzu. Somebody got stung by a wasp. <laughs> Somebody got stung by a wasp. And where did she get stung? Right on her throat. Right on her throat, which meant that she had to go to dog A and E. Of course, you know, it couldn't have been on her leg anywhere other than her throat or her face which in which case we wouldn't have had to take her to the vets we could have just monitored at home no 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 right on her throat right there um so uh yeah it um it swelled up so we took away you know she got stung she was really distressed we weren't sure what happened she just suddenly just 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 started losing her shit and we were like oh my god what has happened so we gave her a cuddle and we were like oh you know maybe i we thought something had flown in her ear because the rest of the walk she kept flicking her ear she kept flicking her ear and shaking her head um and we were like oh because she kind of i feel like she gets in her own head sometimes about when she sees something as being wrong hey mr west good morning good morning nice and bright and early this morning mr west how you feeling yeah, so it's, she sometimes gets in her own head, it's like there was a bug on her leg that she didn't like, so she was limping around. There wasn't anything wrong with her leg, there was just a bug on it that she didn't like. So we thought, oh, she's just in her own head again, there's nothing, no, nothing wrong with her, she's alright. And um, we get her home, and she's still like shaking her head, so I clean her ears out, because I'm like, okay, you know, maybe she's still got something in her ears, let's help dislodge whatever's sitting in there, so I, <laughs> they're cleaning her ears. And weirdly enough, she lets me do it because she she doesn't like having it her ears cleaned because she doesn't like having the solution put in there. I'll have any snacks, man. Um, <laughs> I think some snacks might be getting bought for you. Um, yeah, so she weirdly enough let me do it. And then she was, she was just laying there. She didn't seem happy. She was kind of not moving. Uh, she did eat dinner. Officers log day 913. The captain is still pooping. We are adrift in space. I haven't seen my own eyes for the last three months. <laughs> my own Oxygen eye. is low, bread has gone stale and Hiranda is still stuck in the VR zoo. I think the end is nearing. Oh my god, Benny, really? No way, One, 913 days you've been here for. Benny. Surprised I haven't shot you out there, look. <laughs> Benny, thank you so much. Thank you so much for 30 months. Thank you so much for 913 days. That's a ridiculous amount of days. That's too many days. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Benny. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh my goodness. I feel I feel overwhelmed by how many days that is. Edley, good morning. Good morning. Hang on, we can see. We can see the criminal. Right there. Absolute criminal. Yeah, so um, she then ate her food. We then saw her, like I saw her neck and it had swollen. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. It had swollen and she wasn't moving. She looked really ill. <sighs> so we had to take her to the emergency vet. That was great. That was great. We do have insurance on her, but the thing is, is the we don't know if it's worth claiming on the insurance because it wasn't. It's not enough. It's not enough that it might not cancel out the price that we'd be playing. That would be paying for the uh, uh, so we'd lose our no games discount. And um, 
the excess on it would mean that we wouldn't we wouldn't even get half of what we spent back. So I don't know whether it would be enough to warrant losing the no claims discount on her to claim on the insurance. So we might just might just have to take the hit because emergency vets, of course, more expensive than the normal vets. You know, of course, because you're you're calling them out in the middle of the night. Of 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 fucking course, of course. More expensive. It was quite. It was um. <laughs> It, it was a £200 bill that we didn't want. <laughs> but it wasn't, like, I was I was, I was, was crying as we were driving um, to the vet. Because obviously, it hasn't even been a week since I had my seizure. I'm just so tired. I'm so sick and tired of everything. I'm just, like, there is still vomit in my bathroom forum where I vomited up the colonoscopy stuff. Because I have not had the energy to clean it. And Greg has been doing everything around the house and he does not have the energy to clean up the vomit. I am so tired. <laughs> so sick and tired of everything. So I'm there sobbing on the way and I'm like, Greg, what if it's like a thousand pounds? We had to put it on the credit card. <laughs> oh dear. It's tax fraud. No, I love my taxes. HMRC, I love paying taxes. I love paying my taxes. Yeah, no, she's doing much better. She's still feeling a little bit sorry for herself. Um, she, yeah, she's still feeling a little bit sorry for herself, but she's doing okay. Yeah, I can see her on this monitor, which is why I keep looking at her. Yeah, and she keeps uh, keeps scratching it, which makes it red. Uh, you know, it's a little bit red and inflamed. At can, how you doing? Oh, a nice green as well. I like how it matches my shirt. Yeah, so um, it's fine. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh dear. Fine. And of course, the uh, the medication makes her pee more as well. Right. <laughs> so she's on antibiotics, um, and she had an injection of of something. I don't know what she had injected into her, but she had something injected into her, and. Um, yeah, um, yeah, of course it makes her pee more. Suzu Welfare Fund. <laughs> Reserve Doggo at all cost. <laughs> Please tell her I love her too less than Oh, three. drug! Thank, thank you so much! Thank you! Suzu! <laughs> What do you want? What do you want? Nah, she's just a, um, she's just a, a, a pure greyhound, just a normal, um, normal greyhound. <laughs> yeah, it was really, it was, um, yeah, she doesn't want it. She doesn't even want to look up. Hey, coin and flyer, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. She's tired. She feels sorry for herself. Yeah, she's half greyhound, half demon, half fucking pee machine at the moment. Yeah. Can call me coin well, welcome into the stream coin welcome in thank you very much thank you yeah she's a big sweet even the vet the vet said that she's very nice doggo and i was like thank you she's nice as long as you're not a squirrel <laughs> she does perker perker is up hey pro how are you doing luckily i'm not a squirrel and i've we've been trying to get her a bit better with cats so there's a cat that keeps coming into our garden and um, I take her to the door and I'm like, look at the nice cat. Dog. Dog, thank you. Thank you very much, Dog. Thank you so much for giving us up the coin. Coin. You just got here, but now you're stuck here for a whole month. You're not allowed. We do lock the doors and throw away the keys. So you're not allowed out now. <laughs> thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh dear! No, 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 no! We, 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 we I haven't been trying to tease her, but we've been trying to take her to the um. We've been trying to take her to the door and be like, "Oh, look at you know, look at the cat. 
You don't want to chase the cat, do you? Look at that little owl. Look at that nice cat that you definitely don't want to eat. And she's sitting there chattering her teeth, licking, licking her lips, being like, I want to eat the cat. <laughs> I want to eat that cat. But there we go. We, we, you know, we're working on it. We're working on it. Oh, down there. So down there, I've got um, the honor of the dawn. But I do actually, I do have the fruit basket. Um, I do have the fruit basket manga as well. Weirdly enough, they're the only two manga that I've got. So it was a um, coincidence. A coincidence. Mm, so I think uh, so. September. From what I understand. They are doing something for gifted subs at the end of the month. I I am not too sure. To be honest, it's a little bit confusing. I remember that one really, like the good September that um, Twitch did. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they are doing something for gifted subs at the end of the month. But I am not not sure. Dog. <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you <laughs> doggy uh, will she try and eat the cat uh, I don't know whether she'd eat it or whether she'd just kill it um, she a, there is a chance that she would kill it to be honest because um, I don't think she'd necessarily mean to kill it I think she'd just I think she'd catch it and then I think she'd shake it and accidentally kill it you know um <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't think it would be uh, super malicious. Mm. Right. Okay. So it looks like the thirty-day September will be self-paid subs. The shorter promotion at the end of the month will be for gifted subs. But we don't know what the promotion at the end of the month is. So that's that's the only information I have. Yeah, you don't want to take any chances. Uh, when um when I took her out, so I opened the door to see the cat as well, so that we didn't have any door in front of her. I put on, I was like, I put on, you know, I put on her full regalia so that she couldn't get away from me to make sure. Like, I was, oh, we we took her out for a walk and uh, we spoke to this um we spoke to this couple that uh, were talking about <laughs> they were talking about their friend's greyhound and they were like, oh yeah, our friend's greyhound just killed their neighbor's cat. You know, it's gonna happen at some point. And I'm like... <laughs> they were talking about it like it was an inevitability. And I'm like, what do you mean it's gonna happen at some point? We're so careful. We're so careful that she wouldn't go after anything because she does have quite a high prey drive. Look at that little sweet angel baby though. I never want to think of like, think anything bad about her. Um, but you know, we're, we're so careful. We try, we, we try not to let her, you know, if she goes out in the garden, she's usually supervised. Um, and we're trying absolutely desperately to uh, lower this prey drive so that she can have a, um, you know, she can have a fulfilling life where she doesn't have to be constantly thinking she's going to eat, and a, you know, eat a cat or eat a squirrel or whatever else. <laughs> I have our cat have bought in mice and frogs. <laughs> I have no idea what to do about it. Oh my god, our cat used to bring them in, and then just used to get bored. He was like, "Oh, I'm done. I've bought the mouse to you. I'm bored now." So the mouse would just go, and my parents would be, "God, trying to find this fucking mouse." Dog did the same with a frog. Little guy was playing with the frog. Oh yeah, they don't mean it, do they? They don't mean it. They just, I think they're just so, so stupid that. They're like, oh, this is just, we're just playing together. I'm just a bit, I'm just a bit bigger than rougher than you, you know? We are playing some Dragon Age. I honestly, every, like, I think Dragon Age might be my game of the year. I don't want to, I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to spoil our New Year's celebration. But, um, I think that Dragon Age might be my, because I always look forward to the Dragon Age streams. Game of the year in the time that it takes to play it. That's very true. I don't know how many hours I've put into it. I don't have it loaded up at the moment. It was a bit funny last time I did. Um, so I think, if I'm being honest, I think Susie could probably grab a cat and then shake it so it broke its neck. 
because uh, I've seen I've seen her. We, I mean, we've all seen her with that fucking pillow. She just gets it and she goes, blah, blah, blah. Jeff, Jeff, how was your Monday? It's Friday. It's <laughs> right. What do we got? Um, Dragon Age. What game are we playing? So we played sixty six hours. Oh, he's a big. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, she's stupidly cute. Uh, we have played 60, 66 hours, so... Yeah, it's not the longest playthrough we've ever done. If we break the... I think the longest we've ever done is, was Pillars, which was, like... Benny, were you, you were here for Pillars, weren't you? Benny was here, so it must be less than 30 months ago. Yeah, that was 103 hours for the fantasy. Mm. What kind of PC you have in Jev? Ah, oh, you were here for Pillars of Eternity, weren't you, Benny? I remember there are some um, quotes from you. Oh god, I need to turn that fucking cult's totem thing off. <laughs> My totem's gonna be... <laughs> I haven't switched it on since we last played it. I shouldn't, just to see how, like... My totem's gonna be swole. It's good morning. Oh, Persona 4. I wonder, actually. All right. Yeah, 100. No! I played that for 182 hours. It won't be for. I, I must have left it on at some point. We played that for 182 hours. on stream it just wouldn't break gr <laughs> i think i'm going to grind some of it not that much you only you only put in like maybe five five hours or so maybe a little bit more darth oh a monday you working on monday darth do you get another day off of, uh, over the week i can't believe it yeah it just would it just wouldn't end i can't believe we did 182 hours i don't know whether i'd give up I'm just, I'm surprised I lasted it, you know? Are you going on holiday in Where are you going, Darth? If you don't mind me asking, you don't have to tell us. Nine whole days of holiday. Oh, oh. Norway's most popular. Oh, a pizza grandiosa. Most popular frozen pizza, tomato sauce. Oh, with the paprika. With a bit of ham and some cheese. What kind of cheese? Just mozzarella. Parents both have their birthday. Oh, big happy birthday to the- Oh! Are you doing anything special for it, Darth? Hey, Caxel. To squeeze the dog out. Oh, let me get Dragon Age up. Uh, what am I doing? Order of everything. Turn that off. I didn't even fade it out, just pause it. JRPGs are like that sometimes, they take a year to complete. I just, I don't, I, I don't know how I lasted that long, Chad. I don't know how I did it. Like, uh, thinking about it now, if like Dragon Age, I guess maybe if Dragon Age started taking me 180 hours, I think I would take a moment to reassess if I wanted to continue playing it. Because I think, I seem to remember it took us, uh, we started it in February. And I feel like we didn't finish it until the February afterwards. So we started it in April and then didn't finish it until February. I think we were literally playing it for an entire year. Because we only did it on, um, we only did it on day. I hope there will be a VOD. I hope there's a VOD too, Darth. I hope there's one. Bring the dog <laughs> For the low, low cost of 5,000 channel points. She's not there. Absolutely fantastic. Good. Good. Um, let me supplement with big dog cam. She's a greyhound, Ibrex. Another long, long, snozzy dog. Hang on a moment. So uh, there was an update to OBS. Of course, there's always an update to OBS. Every every time, oh yeah, 
she say that like let me supplement that um that dog cam with big dog cam for a little bit longer. Uh I will turn it off for today. OBS had an update and it's it appears to have broken the dog cam. <laughs> Greyhound Greyhound 1005. I do kind of want to do a dog um I want to do a dog a dog DNA test on her actually. Like I I'm pretty sure she is like she, we had to we had to register as a pedigree, which is ridiculous. I mean it's not ridiculous, it makes sense, but she doesn't you know, she doesn't feel like a pedigree. It's not like, oh yes, this is my pedigree husky. It feels awfully posh for the here is my trash goblin greyhound that I got from a rescue centre because they found her on the side of the street, you know? Um And is anything else broken? I don't think anything else is broken. Hey, Katie, good morning. Good morning. It's not always out of fish nor a national dish. Many eat it just for their Christmas dinner. You cannot, cannot eat pizza for Christmas. I mean, I have done pizza for Christmas. I, I take all of that back. Oh, wow. Oh, it's Yarsberg. Recent research shows was a good in preventing... <laughs> Cheese named bone disease. Really? So you're telling me that I should eat more cheese for better health? Is that what you're saying to me? <laughs> Sounds like a Blade Runner robot animal. This is the Greyhound, Greyhound 1005. Yeah, she's a big sweetie. She's a big sweetie. I think, um, obviously, there are some caveats with getting, I think, uh, a rescue... The aggressive dog in particular, right? Like, um, the, because she was a she was a stray. It means she likes eating shit, uh, which is, you know, it's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> she is a little bit of a trash goblin. You know, it's meant that we've got child locks on all of our bins because trash goblin knows knows how to get into trash. Uh, she eats things that she shouldn't eat and aren't good for her. Um. You know, definitely, there's definitely a lot to think about. But then I, I say to Greg that I think um, when you when you get a dog from a puppy as well, that you can have so many so many issues too, because she's got a she's got a little bit of self uh, 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 separation anxiety, which is you know it's nice that she likes us enough to have separation anxiety, I guess. Um, but I know that's quite common with dogs that you get from a puppy. Oh yeah, she's a little horse, isn't she? She's a little horse. But um, yeah, no, she is working out why she does things as well. Like, ah, oh, you know, she eats from the trash because she's a stray, or um, I don't know what does she do. Uh, she's got. She seems to have this particular affinity for not liking one of her back legs being touched. Just, which well, is one of them. Not the other. The others are fine. Just, just the one of them. Um, so it seems, it seems like someone might have done something with that back leg. We also have a few issues with cars. She really hates cars. Um, which would be, I guess, it would be nice with a puppy because I guess you would be able to, you'd be able to take that. So she's really, she's quite nervous. She's a very anxious dog. She's very nervous. Obviously, you don't see it now. Uh, this is like a little check-in with how Susie's doing after we've, uh, like, after, I don't know how long we've had her now, like, two months and a half or so. Um, you know, she she had a lot of anxiety with cars that she had to get over. Um, she doesn't like really busy places. Um, she doesn't like... <laughs> she gets... She's quite... Oh, bye. Bye then. She's... A little bit funny with other dogs. She's a little, little bit. She's a little bit funny with other dogs. So this is something we're really trying to work on. Uh, she tends to growl at other dogs, um, like first meeting, and we're like, please stop doing that. Um, <laughs> gets really, like you know, really uh, a little bit funny with the other dogs. But then after she's met them once, she meets them the second time. She's like, oh, you didn't attack me that time I growled at you. I 
I think we're friends now. And I'm like, oh, it's, that's not quite, that's not quite how it works. <laughs> you were mean to them the first time you met them. Now they're not, they don't really like you. <laughs> you know? So, uh, we are, we are working on, you know, we're, we're working on that. Uh, <laughs> She also doesn't like it when there are lots of dogs. So if like there are a pack of dogs, say, you know, more, more than one. So if someone's walking their two dogs and they come up to her, she's like, I don't know how to deal with this. There's more than one of you. There's always one of me and two of you. So she immediately is a bit cranky. You know, she... <laughs> and it's this, you know, it's like, I, su I swear she's not going to bite your dog. I swear. And, you know, the owners... Yeah, she's very cute. She's very sweet. And I, you know, love her to be. And uh, she is, she's so good and just like um, well-meaning. And it makes me so happy that she, you can see that now we've had her for a while. She gets so excited by things. You know, she never got excited for things. And now, you know, she gets her food every day, which is, you know, she gets so excited for it. She's so, she's so, you know, she does the little, little bunny hops and, um, you know, we had a bit of food aggression that we were really working on. And now she'll sit and let me, um, you know, sit with her while she's eating and help, you know, as I've been really working on showing her that I'm not there to take her food away. I'm there to help her with her food. So uh, that was a really long process of all her meal times. I would sit there and, um, you know, if she dropped a piece of food, I'd show her where it was so that she could see I was, all, you know, getting her more food. Um, you know, I, I made sure I was adding to the meal. So I would take a bit of banana and give it to her while she was eating so that she would see, you know, I'm there to, there to give her the hors d'oeuvres to her food, you know. Um, and she still, she's, she still sometimes forgets and she still sometimes... Um, gets a little bit funny but she's um my cat will only eat if i'm sitting or standing nearby oh that's cute that's cute oh they want you to they want you to look out for predators that's cute yeah so um it's there's been a lot to work on there's been a lot to work on and it hasn't always been um it hasn't always been super easy and there's been lots of tears and there's been lots of, um, you know, there's been lots, lots of difficult parts, but she is, it's, it's really nice to see her progress. It's really nice to see, oh, you know, she's finally, you know, finally doing what I asking her to do, or she's finally gotten, gotten something, or, you know, she's, you know, finally stopped growling at me when she eats. It's, it's really nice to see that kind of progress. Hey, shit, win prone. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. Good morning, both of you. And it's really, it's nice to, nice for, nice to see that she cares as well, you know? Uh, like when I was, when I was in the hospital, you know, maybe she cared a little bit too much. <laughs> in the fact that she was having quite a few difficult nights afterwards, maybe she cared a little bit too much, but it's nice to see that she did care. Um, yeah, she knows she's in our forever home. Hopefully. Yeah. Big baby! She's not even gonna react. She's not even gonna look at me, I know. Yeah, I think there's been also a lot to learn about the breed too. So, greyhounds are more like cats um, than a lot of dogs. So, she doesn't you know, she she's very stingy with her kisses, you know? She's not like a golden retriever that will come up to you and go blah, 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 blah. She is very stingy and only, um... You know, will only give you a kiss when she decides she wants to give you a kiss and she, um... Why are we on a date with Alistair? Oh, we bought him to try on some new clothes, didn't we? I remember. My cat is more like a do oh, do they uh, fetch probed? 
They fetch. My sister's cats would fetch. That was really cute. That was really, really cute. Yeah, like, she doesn't fetch. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't fetch. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't know what, a, how to play with stuff. We've been really trying to, you know, get, get the, you know, the playtime is fun time. You know, if you want me to throw the ball again, you're going to have to bring it back to me. Because so she will pick up, the, she'll chase the ball. She'll pick it up. And then she'll just, she'll get bored of holding it and she'll just drop it. She, she'll just drop it. She's like, I'm done holding it now. I drop. So it's being, <laughs> it's, you know, she only gets praise when we get the ball back in our hands. So it's been more effective for her to bring us the ball rather than us to go running for the ball. Um, yeah, so... Uh, it's been a lot of a uh, lot of readjustment for us and I, I mean you know she's obviously had to make the most readjustment right she's in a new home she's um she's just very anxious she's very very nervous and i think we didn't uh, like we were obviously told before we got her she's gonna need a little bit of confidence building <laughs> she needs a little bit more than a little bit uh, she's a she's very nervous. She's nervous around new dogs. She's nervous in the car. She's nervous. She's just 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 nervous. So um, yeah, she is a uh, something something we're working on. Something we're working on. And we hope that because I want her I want her to have you able to have the best life, you know. And the best life for her would be that she doesn't feel anxious every time something new happens or something happens that she doesn't like, you know. How old is she? She's only, um, she's actually coming up to her second birthday. She's actually coming up to her second birthday now. So, um, we are going to have a dog, dog birthday party. <laughs> we will have a dog birthday party for her, for her birthday. We'll get her some, um, get her a dog cake or whatever. And we'll have a, have a bit of fun, um, have a bit of fun with her on stream. And we've had her for like two and a half months, two months, two, where did I tell you guys that we got her? Did I, like, beginning of, oh, it's just July? Yeah, maybe about two and a half months. I think I told you the month before last, because now I remember we're in September now. Mm. She doesn't bark at animals on the telly, but so like Tainticus is there barking uh, when uh, there's a dog in Fire Emblem that barks. And sometimes when that comes up on the TV, she's like, where's the other dog? Mother, mother, I sense another dog. Uh, well, how are you doing? Happy Friday. I was going to say Tuesday, but I didn't. She's too lazy for that, but she does follow me all around the place. Oh, that's so cute. She'd be there at the garage door. Oh, you should have tried uh, popping her in a harness and see whether she'd come to work with you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you can in the uh, character in the character design. You got to choose your own portrait. <laughs> so we picked this beautiful portrait. I wanted to show Precious in kind of all of her glory, you know. Uploaded the video on the 23rd of July. Okay, so we got her. Okay. We hadn't had her long after I uploaded the video. So yeah, we've had her for about two months and a half-ish. Twitch Bobby. Uh, Twitch Bobby! See! Thank you so much for nine months! What are we going to call it? I guess it would, it would have to be like... Badger Tech Gaming because then I sound then I sound more techy or like like the kid would sound more techy because I it wouldn't be getting the tech from me. <laughs> Thank you so much. If Thank you. I can do for oh yeah, me, maybe not. Please, yeah, but... <laughs> we never know. Maybe uh maybe the cat would have a hidden talent for maybe hidden talent for welding. Hmm. Herbal. I'm glad it's. I'm glad. I'm the good crazy. Glad I'm it's sure the good crazy. Sure, you'll be with the goods, my boy, and I. Some yeah. Sometimes like busy isn't necessarily bad, is it? Doggy. 
Yeah, it's definitely been a lot of readjustment though. Right, how much are you charging? For I'm. I bought the blood stuff back because I wanted to see whether it would be better than what Sten has on him, which is the um the really weird dwarven armor. Sten, where are you? Is this any better? I guess it depends whether 6 defense and 30 health is better than the difference in armor and fatigue. I don't think it's better. It looks worse as well. <laughs> I do like how it's tummy clothes. <laughs> kind of reminds me a bit of a Teletubby. And Sten is the... Sten <laughs> Maybe we won't have Sten look like a Teletubby because he is the party member I would least like to leave around children. Mr. West, happy Friday. Happy. F Does anyone have any fun uh, plans for the weekend? Oh, dog cam is, is broken today. <laughs> dog cam is broken. I have to give you a little peep of her. She's just having a sleep. Having a nice little nap at her. Uh, let's change then back and take the dragon stuff back and then we can be on our way and we wanted to do shales oh god sorry so sorry for the nudity um <laughs> two races and a tattoo point oh. what are you getting what are you getting Right. Let's take uh let's actually take Ogren. I know I said I was never gonna take Ogren anywhere with me, but since we're going back to Orzammar, I feel like Ogren's yes. gonna be the person with the best um like flavor text. I feel like it's gonna have the, the best flavor text for it, so I've What's up, Mr. West? What's up, Mr. West? Work all Saturday, sleep most of Sunday. Oh. No, I very much support the extra sleep though. Very much. When did you say you were away? Was it nine days from the 10th? Right? So that would be not this weekend, next weekend? What's wrong with Ogren? <laughs> He's such an asshole! He's such an asshole. I just cannot... He's just mean. He's just mean. I just... I don't like how he keeps accosting Win. you know? Win is mine. She's my silver fox. I'm surprised they never gone back to this. I... You know what? I wouldn't actually be surprised if they didn't make a remastered version. At some point. I mean, like, with all the remastered game. I mean, they remade, um... Mass Effect. Or not remade. Remade's the wrong word. Wrong, um... the wrong word for it remastered i guess um they remastered a mass effect so it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't go back and remaster dragon age but if mass effect is anything to go by it would look very similar i don't know whether they would do anything different again. well four chair services three of which are confirmations oh you have a good time Team Edge together with Zevra Morgan and Sten. Is Sten only part of Team Edge because he killed eight people, including children? <laughs> yeah, he's gross to all of the female characters. I just, I, yeah, I just, I wouldn't put him on a team with Morrigan, you know? Wouldn't want to hear what he had to say. Hey, Koi, no! Don't worry, we've just, uh, we've just hopped back in Dragon Age. We did some, um, What's it called? Inventory management. Mr. West, don't you revolt. Don't you revolt, Mr. West. It's Friday, you should be anti-revolting. Is this already remastered Dragon Age? Is it? Don't embarrass me like this. It is the ultimate edition. Does that count as the... Is that remastered? Hmm... Doesn't 
say it's being remilled. Doesn't get it. I, I noticed you. I said hello the first time I saw you, Mr. West. I won't be taking that. This used to be part of an empire lost to darkness. Watch someone playing Baldur's Gate 3. Ooh! Remind me so much of Dragon Age, the vibes and the voice acting, the first... Oh, I do, I want to play, I want to play Baldur's Gate. 100%. Who are we romancing? We decided to romance Alistair, because Alistair has a claim to the throne. And I want to be queen. <laughs> I want to be queen. Alistair also seems to be the one that has the most money. So, um, he just seems the most advantageous to romance. I've decided we were going to... <laughs> We're gonna go through the Adukan Thog at the moment because I'm pretty sure one of you guys told me that there were still some bits to do here. So I decided decided that we would do those bits before we did the did shows character scores. I really enjoy pillars. Which I know is like Baldur's Gate. So I think I'd love Baldur's Gate. But I feel like it's one of those games that just sit on my to-do list. I love Alistair. I, like, Jen, like, if I was, a, uh, I feel, we're doing a little bit of a, is role-playing the right word? Got it. We're role-playing Precious, who is, uh, you know, one of the dwarven nobles, uh, Princess Adukan, should have been Queen Adukan, in my humble opinion, that she should be the one sitting on the throne. And she will kill anyone and everyone who looks at her the wrong way. So for her, Alistair is kind of a means to an end. But if I was playing this as me, I probably still would have picked Alistair anyway. She's got really big eyes. That's so that she can see what she's picking out of your pockets before she takes it. <laughs> Kill him! Kill him, precious! Bailey! Are you having a, a snaily, a snaily Friday? I wish they would upgrade the graphics some more. I have some quality of life things. I wish they'd make the, um, the inventory bigger. Oh, well you let Chad pick and they chose Alistair as well! Is Alistair the kind of canon option? I feel like Alistair would be a fan favorite. Oh, Jarvis! Thank you, Jarvis. Thank you so much for subs. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the Weenies. How is your Friday going? It's early for you. Is well, it early? I feel like since you must be up really late, this must be quite early for you. What makes it a snaily day if it's covered in mucus? All right, all if right. it's covered in mucus, that's what makes it a snaily day. Thank you very, very much. Oh, if only. Oh, how has it? How has it been? How have the interviews been? Is uh, was there anyone absolutely terrible? Can you tell us? Maybe you can't got tell it. us. <laughs> oh, we got a bag of limbs. Oh, nice. Because we've got a. <laughs> This is it. I know that sounds like something that wouldn't be very exciting, but we've got a we've got a torso in a bag. We also have a head in a bag, and now we got a bag of limbs. We got a bag of bag of person now. Um, Chad, thank you very much, Chad. Thank you. <laughs> Man, you don't look fucking awful today. <laughs> I am uh, I am a little bit tired still, a little bit stressed, but um, let them be. But otherwise, yeah, I'm doing better today. Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my god, was there anyone so bad you had to ask them to leave before the interview was over? Oh my goodness. I remember there was a um, interview in one of my old jobs. And um, they didn't turn up for the interview. And everyone was like, oh, that's really weird. So we looked them up on social media, as you do. And um, we looked at their tweets or their Facebook page or something. 
which detailed the absolute rager of a night they had before the interview, which they didn't show up. Which was, you know, clearly why they didn't show up, because they had an absolute rager. And, um... <laughs> And they never called in to say that they weren't showing up or anything. That's just, we only know that's the reason because we looked them up. And, um, they, all over their uh, page was them saying how much, like, how much they hated bouncers. And that they, they're like their Facebook, what, you know, you used to have those Facebook, like, cover photos, whatever, above your profile picture. It said bouncers are twats or something. <laughs> I think my boss has never felt more pleased than didn't hire someone. I will trade your bag of limbs for this picture of my dad. I don't know. It depends who the limbs are. If what if they're limbs of your dad, you know? Where do we rate photo versus limbs? <laughs> Cause it would have the fingers as well, and we've already established that fingers are pretty wonderful. Did you manage to make it through all of it, Jeff? I didn't have the heart to tell the tweet. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta make it through the interview and just like, <laughs> just be like, I'm not hiring you later. Oh my goodness. It's partly why I wanted to delete my social media. Well, as long as you're not um, talking about the absolute rage you had, Chad, you'll probably be okay. Oh, it's like the dead dragons. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. Two whole grandiosas down. All right, all right. Oh dear. I prefer Dr. Urka's big one. I do quite like a Dr. Urka. I find that they're a little bit too sweet sometimes, but sometimes I get really in the mood for them. You know, sometimes I'm like, nah. My least favorite pizzas have got to be like a Chicago deep dish pizza, though. I I hate them. I hate. Why is it so deep? <laughs> like it's it is essentially a bowl of molten bolognese sauce with cheese on top, but the bowl is made out of pizza dough. You're not allowed to feel terrible, Mister. Don't worry. Sorry, that's illegal. It's illegal in this chat. You're only allowed to feel good emotions. Oh, I don't, I don't think I've ever noticed their mouth. Oh, I don't like that. They kind of remind me of the alien, you know, alien from the, the alien from Alien. They got little bubble mouths. Oh, I don't like that. My bottom 10 pizzas, Chicago Town's gotta be right at the fucking bottom. Uh, they're nasty. Um, Got it. I don't know what other kind of pizza. I don't love a deep, uh, like a, a thick crust pizza. I find that it's too much, too much crust. <laughs> I prefer a thin, a thinner, thinner dough. Just like humans with weird mouths, and they're really short as well. <laughs> Maybe they're backwards humans. The butt and the front. Yeah, the abandoned. You know what? The abandoned deep deep rose. are oh, it's surprisingly well lit. You know what? It's probably just win because she's the light of my life. She's the light of my life, so she lights up, lights up the deep roads for me. Mwah. win for life. Have worm heads and mouths. I always thought they were like little dragons. Shale is covered in glow sticks. <laughs> That's very true. I want to say not something nice about Ogryn as well. I was gonna, I was trying to think of something nice to say about him, but I just literally can't think of anything nice. Can I, what was the question, Jeff? I just, you know, I wanted to say, oh yeah, and Ogryn, you know, lights our way. But he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> Jelps, you have a fantastic, fantastic look. A fantastic thing. I hope, I hope the interview is a little bit better. 
<laughs> they get better. Oh dear. I don't know what I'm supposed to be finding here. Microwave pizza. I my parents used to get us microwave chips. And they were pretty bad. I I don't think I'd want to know what um my our microwave pizza. Shale's you know, it's all she sees. <laughs> Look, Shale is just a scaly human, okay? Pizza's beauty standards are too high. Fish, what's your favorite kind of pizza? What's your favorite kind of pizza? Say Chicago Town, I'm gonna be upset. I was wrong. I miss you greatly. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, mommy. Sorry, mommy. Sorry, mommy. Thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, don't worry. I talk quickly. Maybe I should talk slower. It would mean I, I don't have to squeeze as much content into a, into my streams if I talked slower, right? Because each sentence would take up more time. It's the worst thing. Who's heating up leftover pizza now? Just eat it cold. Just eat it cold. It tastes better cold. Find that the microwave makes things sweaty, you know? I like sweaty pizza as much as I like sweaty lasagna. Maybe I like it a bit. It's similar to Chicago deep dish. Fishna. Fishna. One thing I said you couldn't like. So we've done we've done a lot of the roads, we? but we are, we've gone back to the Adukan guard because I wanted to see whether there was anything specific that we were supposed to be finding there. I think Chad told me there was something exciting. So if there's nothing exciting here, we can blame Chad. If I would want sweat on my food, exactly, Haley. Exactly what I think. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty exciting. There's some chests. Oh, my God. Exactly, that's why I hate lasagna. Why would you want sweat on your food? I missed the most exciting thing. What did I miss? What did I miss? Where was it? Oh, my quest for the limbs! Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I bet it is the limbs. The greasier the piece, the better. I think I have to be in the mood. Oh, do you know what a top tier pizza is? It's the Pizza Hut Cheesy Bites. I know that's not, e that's not even the pizza, but it's the Pizza Hut Cheesy Bite Pizza. So they are... I don't know if you get them in the America or, or other other countries. Oh, the cool shaped rock is it this one. This one's pretty cool. Looks like a penis, a really short, stumpy penis, but a penis nonetheless. Um. Oh yeah, it could be an ass, depending on from the angle, right? Is it like Mr. Mr. Plinkett with pizza rolls? I, I who is Mr. Plinkett? What, what does he do with pizza rolls? I see a pe look two two testicles, one and one and two, and then really short stumpy penis in the middle. The dick adder <laughs> Uh No, it's they're like on the crust. On the crust, there's these like rolls of pizza dough with cheese inside covered with garlic, kind of like a garlic uh, powder. Like garlic crack cocaine on the outside. <laughs> Absolutely fucking delicious. I can't spoil your innocence about who Mr. Plinkett is. I will keep it that way then. I will keep it that way. <laughs> Penis comparisons I have known by at Captain Badgertail. 
I mean, this is an educational stream, so... <laughs> I do strive to teach you guys or show you guys one new thing every stream. Fire Away Pizza. I don't, the name just sounds good. It reminds me of that uh, barbecue place of the Tesla effect. I really like Chicago deep dish pizza. Brooks, come on. Come on now. You like lasagna. You like Chicago deep dish. Brooks, you got You know, I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think you just got bad taste in food. I'm, you know, I, I understood that tastes differ. You don't like mayonnaise either. It's, it's like molten spaghetti sauce in pizza dough and then you you cut into it, it either all of the either all of the sauce falls out of it or you burn yourself and then you can't fucking taste anything after it if you want to eat hot tomato sauce just put it in a bowl there's no need for it to be in a pizza you like if you like tomato sauce that much just just have some soup 50% of the time I'm right I'll take that I'll take that and I'm right about deep dish pizza <laughs> I'm right about deep dish pizza I think we're done now I think we found our sack I think we can leave this place good deep dish has the optimal tomato to cheese to dough ratio don't judge something on the worst version of it to be, yeah, to be fair about it, I have only had supermarket deep dish pizza. But I feel like I don't know whether I'd want to invest my money. Like, you know, if you go out to eat, I don't know whether I would want to invest my money on. It's like, you know, like my dad always has gam and egg and chips whenever he goes out to eat. Because he doesn't want to invest his money on a dish he might not like. He might as well invest it. In the, you know, the same dish each time because he knows he likes it. I didn't know snails knew how to swear, Haley. Bad lasagna and deep dish pizza, but I also don't care to <laughs> guys about my food choices. <laughs> Rooks, this is all I have going for me. It's all I've got. Mm. Pineapples are good. I don't think anyone actually dislikes pineapple on pizza. That's my, this is my theory. Hello, sussy. Hello. I don't have any snacks for you today. FYI, Ed Captain Badgertail lives on a diet of uncooked chicken, Christmas themed snacks and mayonnaise. Uh, <laughs> I do quite, I do like a Christmas themed snack. I do. I, <laughs> I, I haven't had my daily mayonnaise today. I haven't. I haven't, and I haven't had done cooked chicken for a little bit, actually. Um, <laughs> hey, that is a fair point. That maybe I don't, I don't have good taste. Oh, let's um, have a look. Now we're taking these bag of limbs. Asunder. You have found the grisly remains of some kind of fade beast that may have intentionally dismembered itself. Comparing the notes suggests the carving was done in the deep rows near Caradon's Cross. Pineapple pizza with olives. Ooh. Ooh. Jalapenos, pepperoni, and mince meat. I've heard good things about um pineapple pizza with pepperoni instead of ham. Yeah, I don't think um that shit on my ass. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone actually dislikes pineapple on pizza. I think it's just a meme now, right? Because it's not like it it tastes bad. Yeah, but they're, they're not high class enough to be able to enjoy it. Yeah, I just feel like it's more of a meme that fruit on pizza is weird, right? Hello, doggo! Look at that! It's hard! I've only ever had soft pine- like, the pineapples always have been soft. 
It's always been soft. <laughs> which end is snail and which end is human, though, Haley? Sorry, if that's a, it's too much of a personal question. Right, we're looking for somewhere to put all of these sacks of looms. What do I think of barbecue? What, like, just, like, barbecues? Or, like, uh, barbecue sauce? I like barbecue sauce. I like barbecues as well. So we're overall very positively. Um, overall, only positive thoughts about barbecue. I like barbecue sauce on pizza as well. I think that arguably sometimes it's better than tomato sauce. Who wants a sack of limbs? Anybody? Anybody want a sack of limbs around here? Anybody been look, be looking for this torso, this head, or these limbs? Hello? I was sneezing. <laughs> I asked which end was snail and which end was human. You like top half snail, bottom half human, or bottom uh, bottom half snail, top half human? Yeah, I'll never be harmless. Precious is quite harmful. Top half human, bottom half snail. Okay, that seems most optimal to be honest. Yeah, because you can you can snail around, but then you've got arms, and you've got a mouth. Do I want a sack of limbs? Better leg it with those limbs. I might lose my head. I think Shale is actually the fastest, is she not? We didn't we test it out, we did Shale versus Tainticus. Uh let's give Win a little bit more constitution so she doesn't die, and then a little bit more magic. She's a magical lady who's wormed her way into my heart. Let's give her combat training. And petrify. Uh, haste. What does this one do? Paralyzes the first enemy who crosses its bounds. That might be kind of okay. I don't really like um. Wins. Uh. Things. These things. Attributes. Skills. They're a little bit... I don't know, I don't feel as inspired when I look at them as I do when I see Precious's. I guess Precious has like thieving, stealing, steal from poor, you know, steal from the poor. <laughs> Which inspires me a little bit more. Translation to this plaque reads, uh, reads uh, Sing praises to the stone, may her arms be ever open to us. Hey, Leather, good morning. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday. There's something over there that we haven't seemed to have seen. To you. You've never had pineapple. I wonder if you're allergic to it. I know this is maybe not something you want to think about. But I know that a lot of people do find themselves having an allergy to pineapple and if you've never had it, look at Chelsea, you might be allergic to it. Who wants a sack of limbs? Who wants a sack of limbs? Who wants a sack of limbs? Oh, I thought that said Shrek. I thought that said Shrek. I was like, what's he doing down here? It's it's not Shrek. Oh, it's just booted. Well, I'm saying happy birthday because it's, it's happy Friday. Oh. And I think this will be the birth of our sack of limbs as well. Lots, I'll see you later. You have a wonderful nap, okay? You have a lovely nap. Translation reads, our past is wrought with lost roads, mines, thugs, and homes consumed by the horrors of an endless war. It's positive, right? I don't think there is a quest marker on the map. I don't have one at the moment. Did I go? I don't feel like I went to the wrong place. I went to the wrong 
please. It said it said Carradine's Cross. One hundred percent. Let's try Autumn Targ instead. But okay, we did go to the wrong place. It did say Carradine's Cross. I solemnly swear it said Carradine's Cross in the journal. Has the Elder Mage ever encountered another golem? I suppose there used to be one deactivated one stored in the tower's vault. I wonder what became of it. After all that's happened to the circle, I'd be surprised if it isn't completely destroyed. Why was it deactivated? Happy Did Friday to you. Mage's head happy Friday to you. Too many commands. Happy Friday, happy know, Friday, Perhaps happy Friday to you. Broken. I think it oh, stayed in the you. tower because no one could. Thank you very much. Very, very old. I believe it came from. I think the weekend's got the most, the nicest voice out of everyone. No, no, no offense to Eminem. Would guard the tower. Its people do enjoy their slaves, don't they? It, it was not a slave. It was, it is a, a tool. As I thought. No, don't deny it. No. Shale being, uh, Shale being ruthless. So far, he's the only one that can, else, can pronounce Friday. Well, that makes makes sense, right? Because it's next door to him. Well, because he's the weekend. So, you know, you know. I like that Eminem can't pronounce a single Italian food. I just, I like that that's his personality trait. You know, he says lasagna. How does he say it? Said he can't say tortellini either. Spaghetti. You know, I don't want to start any beef between Eminem and The Weeknd, but so far, so far, The Weeknd's been doing a doing a pretty good job. Hey. Oh, I thought someone was gonna come back to life. The top side of sword has been reconstructed after returning the pieces to his remains. Oh. Okay, I just got a free sword. Oh. Is it any good or is it shit? Top side is horror oh, honor. Yes. Hey. All good. All good. All good. Double handed, one hand, main hand. Might be something we gave Sten. It's only one handed. I suppose a little bit. I'm a little bit underwhelmed. He says, uh, he says, Mum Spaghetti! <laughs> he says, Mum Spaghetti. At a chain restaurant with conveyor belt cooking, horrible pineapple gets soggy. A real pizza place with oven perfection. Or, I always like it when you get those little bubbles on the bottom of the pizza. When it's been, like, stone. Stone cooked. Wah. I think a stone baked pizza is always always superior pizza. Shale is also on Team Edge. Is it just because Shale's got a lot of um a lot of edges to her? She got a lot of sharp, rocky edges. Oh, chocolate! Be I have actually had chocolate beast before, and it was it wasn't good. Anvil of the Void. I think this is... Shale has dim memories of bustling... A bustling dwarven thog nestled somewhere amongst the deep roads. Right. Shale story. Shale story time. You should remove the plastic disc at the bottom of the pizza stops the bubbles and it's probably safer. But it has the best crunch to it. It, cr it crunches really nicely. <laughs> No, Shale has has thick thighs. Oh my goodness! Oh, I thought they were I thought they were golems. It turns out they're just really tall and undead. Let's see whether this works. Oh hello! Oh look at Shrek. Shrek has friends. Are they still making Shrek movies? You guys remember when Shrek movies were, you know, like, you know, they made Shrek 1, Shrek 2, Shrek 3. Shrek had kids. 
And there were loads, there were loads of like Shrek spin-offs. And they always make the same Shrek movie over and over again. One of them had, one of them had a rather, a rather large gingerbread in it. That was a little bit different. The music was always fucking banging though. The I Need a Hero by the uh, Fairly Godmother was, oh, listen to that on fucking repeat. So I'd go between that and Alvin and the Chipmunks covers of songs. That was my that was my YouTube playlist. Oh, don't even don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. This is it. Kadash Tig. Oh, it's so nice! Look at the lighting! Perhaps this where you're from? It may also be where I was found. These ruins are always overrun by vermin. There may be something noteworthy further in, however. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Look at this lighting. Was this the home once? Did I live here? Wow, 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 wow. They nasties? I think they're nasty. Oh, I like how it, um... I think this is the only place in Ozma that has any kind of natural sunlight. Very cool. Yeah, we don't ever really see any more ogres, do we? We only see Shrek, and obviously Fiona is, um... Like a, a magically altered ogre. So. What's the... I don't know what, what the obsession with Shrek is. I think it was a good movie. That would be why I liked it. And the music was amazing. Well, that's a waste. That was a waste. Never mind. The music was fucking top tier. I'm aggroing to hope you I hope you'll be fine. Swam. I need a hero. Whoa. The fact that they had uh, the donkey and the dragon had sex as well, very exciting. That was maybe a less Illyrian potion situation that's right where's the next one and i think shrek had a nice you know it had a really good good moral to the story you know i shall do so and as far as kind of uh, fairy tale stories go it was reasonably you know there wasn't too much weirdness to it you know it wasn't like ah oh, a prince found a sleeping, a sleeping fourteen-year-old girl, and decided, <laughs> and decided to marry her. You know, and I do like, I do like uh, the older uh, Disney, Disney fairy tales. I used to, uh, uh, when I was younger. My favorite one was, oh, I think my favorite one was Sleeping Beauty, but I was a big fan of. I was a big fan of Little Mermaid. But now I quite like the music. I like the music from Cinderella. I love the music from Pocahontas. And maybe my favorite one as an adult. I feel like Mulan has the best kind of, um, the best story to it. Oh, Shale! But I haven't seen, I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen any of the super new ones. Like, I haven't seen Moana. I haven't seen uh, the. I haven't seen Frozen 2. I've seen Frozen 1, and honestly, I was a little bit disappointed. I kind of don't know what I was expecting. I love the music. The music's amazing. I like the lady who sung Elsa's songs. Uh. I, 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 Ina? Is that her name? I can't remember. I can't remember what her name is, but she was also 
Alphaba. She was also Alphaba in The Wizard of Oz. All right, all right. Yeah. Is it Id 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 Idina? Idina? Yeah. I really like her from The Wizard of Oz. I love that soundtrack. <laughs> it's Moulin Rouge. I mean, I'd watch it. I'd watch that. Oh dear. One of them who read the original versions of the Disney stories. Oh. I can imagine that it's not harrowing, but I know that some of them are real grody. Some of them are real grody, like uh, Little Mermaids. Oh, you play trivia. I expect you know more facts about the movie than, you know, like most people would from not watching them. I've listened to the soundtrack of it was uh, Encanto. Is Encanto a Disney movie or was it a Pixar movie? But I was thinking. I like the soundtrack of Moana. Oh, I saw Tangled! Tangled! I really like Tangled! Tangled is fun. Absolutely. I remember watching it and it absolutely killed me when they cut her shesh. <laughs> Because he cut it too short. I got the I got the um <laughs> I got the message and everything. But I was like, oh dang, leave her something to work with if she wanted it short, you know? If she wanted it that short, that would be fine. But let her let her choose how short she wants it. Oh, did you post a did you post a link drunk? Or something that may be considered a link. I do like the um Encanto um like aesthetics. I really like the aesthetics of it. Can I, get you I didn't ladder? love. You can get off my back. All right, I know. I remember you guys weren't very happy Got when it. I said this before. I didn't love. We don't talk about Bruno. I I didn't I didn't love it. I didn't love the love the I you know I love the visuals. I watched the watched the like. Uh, Music video. Love the visuals, but I just I wasn't a big fan of the song. It was just I don't know. Not my fave. I'm the guy who reads through the trivia notes on IMDB with every movie I watch. I do do that with some of them, I do. It's just sometimes you wanna know a little bit more, don't you drunk? It's just some you know, you wanna know some fun facts about the behind the scenes. Do you watch the the like director's commentaries as well? So this thug, I'll give it that it does have some natural light. This one. So we've got some um, got some natural sunlight coming in. So watching Butt Boy. Is Butt Boy a uh, Disney film or is it a? It sounds more like a DreamWorks film, really. I remember I really liked Anastasia as well. I really like the ones in December. Some too. But I know that's not I know that's not Disney, but some movies director commentary is better than the actual movie. Oh, I used to love watching um I used to love hearing all about the behind the scenes stuff of like Lord of the Rings. I remember I watched it watched all the behind the scenes stuff of Harry Potter. So, yes, yeah, sometimes watching, like listening to how it was filmed and you know all the funny things that happened, is better than the actual movie. You know, oh, I love watching the stuff about costume design as well. Like the amount of effort that goes into costume design is absolutely right. It's a great crime thriller. Would I find it scary? And what's the crime that Butt Boy has committed? I'm trying to desperately now try and think of a quick joke, but I can't think of one. Was he was he assassinated? Butt boy assassinated. See above for Butt Boy's crimes. 
I am prey for no oh, creature. <laughs> oh, amazing person to take the stuff. AA sponsor is responsible for a number of missing children. Oh. Oh my god. Is it like is it is it serious? Let us end it. It sounds it does sound really dark. <laughs> Not sure it's my kind of movie. Uh, just because I prefer I prefer a happy movie. I'm very much against sad movies because they make me feel I'll sad. <laughs> my thought is that I'm sad enough in everyday life that I don't also want to be sad in my recreational time, which is why I don't like sad movies. I don't Call like sad. Typical. <laughs> I don't like sad books. I don't mind a sad game, but I don't want it to. I don't want the whole game's purpose to be to make me sad. You know, I want the game's story to make me sad. I don't want the whole purpose to be, to be sad. You know, like I feel like there are some games that just are just there to make you feel sad. If that makes sense. Rather than. The, the plot having sad bits. Now it's better than later. Wait, wait, if that makes sense? Like the, you know, the sad being part of the plot. Whereas it's just sad. What about sad emotes? Yeah, I guess I guess they're alright, because I mean I have one myself, so I couldn't say. <laughs> what movie are we talking about? Bub Boy. Bub Boy, but whenever I talk about sad movies, I always think of my I'll sister's keeper. It. That's like my, that's my, <laughs> one of my least favorite movies I've ever seen. We had to watch it at school. And I just, it's just so fucking sad. And I, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to just feel sad. Got it. And um, like Marley and me for books. I, I know what happens at the end. I know what happens at the end. So I don't want to read the book. I didn't like, um. Oh my god! I was wondering about something. I also didn't like Bambi. I didn't like Final I know what happens in it, so I don't. I haven't wanted to watch it. I feel sad all the time, chat. <laughs> I feel sad all the time. I hate Finding Nemo. I'll get on it. I hate finding Nemo for a number. Oh, well, that was a lot of money. I hate finding Nemo for a number of reasons. Now it's better than later. I hate it because Nemo's an asshole. <laughs> He's just so fucking stupid. Just listen to your dad, Nemo. Jesus Christ. I don't like how it opens up with his mum dying either. I feel like that made me sad at the start of the movie for absolutely no reason. Oh, I should. Bambi has the same kind of concept. I don't think I much liked uh, Fox and the Hound either. That was sad. I just really hate Sam. Really hate him. I'll see you in a minute, Jeff. I'll see you in a minute. I really disliked because they were sad. So I think I'd probably quite like Up, but I just I just don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch I'll it. On it. I know what happened at the beginning, and even thinking about it just makes me sad. What about Bambi? Did you try good deer killing? I just... I feel like maybe we shouldn't open up to his mum. I don't know. What have movies got with just killing off mothers immediately? I haven't seen seven. I'm uncertain what I hope to find here. Oh my god, I've never noticed. Look at Shale's little toes. Oh my goodness. Look at those little 
Look at those little toes. Oh, that's very cute. That's very cute. <laughs> Jail could be in the two Olympics. You're like my dad. He doesn't like these sad movies either. I'm glad that someone else... I'm glad. Because I, I don't think I've ever met anyone else who agrees with me. A golem monument. Ooh. Exactly. Oh, look at big boy. Hello, big boy. Just call me the Reaper. <laughs> Greg's parents love watching like sad, gritty movies. So whenever we go over to theirs at like Christmas or whatever, they're like, "Oh, I can't follow them here, like, you know." Is there any kids' movies to put on for Batra? Inevitably, we just end up watching Columbo because it. Everyone other than Greg and his mum. I basically just mean Greg's dad likes like Columbo, so we win with that one. Greg always complains that I spend all my time when we're around there. Oh wow! Did you, oh, yes, slow mo! Oprin! Whoa! I can stab them with the end of your hammer. Oh, I should have tried petrify. The moment's gone. The moment's gone. Next time I will. Wait, wait, wait. It speaks. Oh no, I didn't. I I didn't mean to speak to you. <laughs> no fetch shale. That was a misclick. Like a golem. Oh, golem monument. That shale looking shale. What is this? This, this I remember. I'd really like to find a way to watch Murder, She Wrote as well. Names. This is to honor those who volunteered, those who became golems. And, and there is my name, Shale of Haus Kadash. Just as Carradine said. I remember now. I remember, Shale. That was me. That was wonder that's wonderful. That's wonderful to remember being a soft, squishy creature of flesh. Perhaps I will need to think on these things I have learned. Perhaps I will speak to it of them soon. For now, let us carry on as we have. Oh, isn't that sweet? That's sweet. Oh, that's pretty good drunk. Usually they only show crap. <laughs> Usually they only show crap when I was in the hospital waiting room. I don't want to fuck BBC News. Oh, drink. I won't show you guys my my all of my bruise, but you can see a little bit there. Just in case anyone feels sick, like as sick as I do when I see it. So we are twinning, we are twinning. Look around for nice crystal. Oh yeah, I should look. Nice crystal. We watch sad movies because it makes us feel strong emotions. The story can be very intriguing. Oh yeah, if it's historical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enlightened or at least aware of injustices. Yeah, I like, I get that. I do find um some historical sad stuff interesting like i watched the uh watched a couple of doc documentaries or movies about Anne Boleyn and they're pretty sad but i found them interesting enough uh to watch it i don't think i was that emotionally connected to Anne Boleyn though so maybe maybe that's not what we what we mean yeah i think i yeah i think you're right i think i just don't i you know i just don't like feeling sad <laughs> I, I just don't like feeling sad, you know. I guess it's... I I have a low tolerance for feeling sad, if that makes sense. Um, I, I watch movies and I cry really easily. And, you know, in games I'll cry really easily as well. And I just... I don't know. I don't like feeling sad. <laughs> feeling sad makes me feel sad. Let's take him, uh, let's give him more. <laughs> what, my, my favourite movie? I don't think I've got a favourite movie. Oh no, 
I've got a favourite. I have a favourite movie that I will sit down and keep watching. It's from they made Porco Rosso. I like watching Porco Rosso. I like watching it specifically in the summer because it gives me those vibes. Um, oh, it's always been storage wars. <laughs> oh my god. Watching people buy shit while you feel shit or while you're like waiting to take a shit. I like Porco Rosso. Um, I, you know, I don't feel like I've got one shining favorite movie. I have different movies that I like for different moments, you know? Clearly, some think that someone, only someone who's never seen Buffalo would say. Uh, yeah, honestly, I type in Porco Rosso, and because it starts off with P-O-O-R, all of the suggestions are porn, porno, and I'm like, no, I just want a nice Studio Ghibli movie about the pig and the flames, please. Because it autofills for what most people who um, search P-O-R search for. A nice movie about the pig and the planes, please. <laughs> it's a good movie though. I would recommend. I would really recommend it. And you know, it's not a lot of people's favorite Ghibli film, but it's just so charming in the way that you know. There's a moment in um, moment in the movie where you're looking at the the lady who is the owner of the the bar, and they've animated her earrings turning. They could have just had them static. But it's, ab it's so charming that she sits there and her uh, earrings glint with the light. Big Data knows you better than you know yourself. Oh my god, sex. So we can see what Greg's parents watch and we can see what we watch. We can see their like recommendations versus our recommendations. All of their recommendations are like, you know, the covers of them are like gritty. Um, that all dark, you know, all the pictures are really dark and gritty and horrible. And then you go on to our recommendations and it looks, it's like you, you've got into a, a rainbow vomit. It's, you know, anime. And <laughs> Do you want to see the movie with the pig in it? You know, like that is it's absolutely ridiculous. And Sek, did I not say hello to you? I said hello to you in my mind, but I don't think I, I verbalized it. I, oh yeah, how was, your, how was work today? How was work today? It's just, um, it's just on the TV as well. I didn't, I'm so sorry. I thought it in my head. I thought it in my head. How was work today? I always sit here and wonder, you know, it's stuff that I think about before I go to bed that I'll remember someone asked me a question and <laughs> I remember someone asked me a question and I will have answered it in my head, but not out of my mouth. And I'll be laying in bed and think, oh, fuck. You know, <laughs> someone asked me what my favorite movie was and I replied in my brain, but didn't reply out of my mouth. The daisy. <laughs> well, you, you do sometimes haunt my dreams, you do. You do. At the moment, I've been having nightmares about eating licorice. Uh, so I've, I've gone off licorice a little bit. It's been starting to make me feel a bit sick. So I have nightmares that I am either being like either having to eat licorice for whatever reason i'm not being force fed it i'm just having to eat it for some reason or i accidentally eat licorice and then it makes me feel really sick yeah <laughs> yeah it's really funny thinking uh, like seeing what big data thinks you like because i get uh loads of student stuff um they they clearly think i'm a student or yeah I love licorice, but I've really gone off of it. I've got a stick. Um, I've got a stick that I've been meaning to eat, but just haven't. Like every time I look at it, it makes me feel a bit queasy. Mmm. That's kind of clever, Darth. That's kind of clever. I feel. I don't know whether they'd help me do it. I feel like they would just, just make me feel sad about the kind of inevitability. Do we have anything else to do here? Oh, red licorice. I fucking love red licorice. Panda licorice have a red one. Oh, I love it. Have we not done this? 
You have found the grizzly remains of some kind of fade beast. Did we not? Oh my god, we didn't do the fade beast. Dad, I blame you for that. I blame you for that. Not noticing that I didn't do the fade beast. Where the fuck is this fade beast supposed to be? I thought that was the coffin. Clearly not. Work was a bit of work today. Lots of meetings. Is it a day where you spent more time in meetings than doing work? I know Greg sometimes has those where they're like, okay, right, we need all of this work done, but we're going to keep you in a meeting for five hours so that you don't actually have time to do any of the work that we were talking about. Sorry, I was too busy having opinions. <laughs> Oh, I guess I forgive you, Chad. I guess. As long as those opinions all aligned with my own, I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you! Yeah, it's like red licorice. The panda red licorice uh, kind of tastes like strawberry. Wait, deep roads, deep roads. So it's not here. So the September for the gift subs starts a couple of a couple of days before the end of the month, I think. It's um the quest description is wrong, so it is near the Alton Fog. Or is it in the Adupin Fog? So they've done it really weirdly this year. That they've they've got it for new subs for the whole month. But they uh are only doing gift subs at the end ending days of the month which it's unclear how long the ending days of the month are. Quest marker is on the map. Oh, it's over here? Oh my goodness, okay. We're going, we're going, we're running, we're running. Ugh, got something in my... Ugh, sodded. What are you... Never mind, I don't want to know. Yeah, that's right, keep your nose up. You know, just because we don't all live in some tower in the clouds doesn't mean we're worthless. I didn't. And furthermore, I don't think I appreciate the way you looked at me last night. The way I... what? Oh, you remember. Those longing eyes, hungry for a bit of a tussle. I never looked at you, Dwarf. Definitely not in that way. Oh, you're right. Must have been the dog. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, it it broke. It broke sect. We've had an update to OBS. And for some reason, our update is broken. <laughs> of course it did though, right? Of course it did. And of course the update always happens. Right before I'm about to start my stream. So I can't fix anything that it breaks or check anything to see if it's broken. Because it always happens mere hours before the start of the stream. So it's it is broken, but she isn't there at the moment. She's She's gone to get snacks from <laughs> snacks from someone else. <laughs> she's probably gone to get snacks from Greg. Oh, sex sex, she was there now. I had to take her to dog A and E. Someone there, uh, someone had an allergic reaction. Got, um, she got stung by a wasp on her throat. Can't you update after the stream? So I updated it before the stream because um, sometimes it'll break more things if I leave it unupdated. So I update it and I just think, well, if it breaks, <laughs> if it breaks anything, I'll just have to fix it later. Yeah, she uh, she got stung um, by a wasp, and it was right on her throat, and it uh, it swelled up, and she, we had to we had to rush her to the out of hours vet. Yeah, she's okay. She's okay now. She's still feeling a little bit sorry for herself, and the uh, the um, meds she's taking makes her need to make pee loads. <laughs> they make her need a pee loads, and it's still a little bit red and inflamed. But otherwise, uh, you know, she's um she's feeling a lot better in us. Yeah, was not was not greatly happy. I cried all the way there. I cried all the way there because it was just it was just another another thing. I'm gonna properly half half save here. Um, okay. 
Here at Aperture Science, we've discovered through extensive testing protocols that people who put pineapple on pizzas are the same people that eventually destroy the universe. Isn't science great? Pineapple on pi pizzas. Pineapple on pizzas. <laughs> like if someone's pissing, don't put pineapple on them, please. <laughs> Take something. Oh my god, pineapple on pisses. Fucking hell, GLaDOS, come on. Come on. Doing better though. Oh, what a wonderful, what a lovely camera angle we have right here. Oh yeah, they sound like pineapples, you're right. Uh, place body parts on the altar. <gasps> wow! And revealed my hiding place. He's kind of hot, isn't he? Your intention. Seek you vengeance or reward. Do we... Do we keep him? I quite like him. Looks like he's got dick fingers, though. Just, <laughs> just an observation. Um... My fr oh my parents greyhound loves eating wasps. We were a bit panicked after he snacks them down. Luckily, nothing bad happened yet. They're like little flying treats, aren't they? She managed. She got. Uh, she got stung right there. It was, just, it was very unfortunate. Badger, what would you do if your son, a sea anemone like being with shape shifting powers, okay. wanted to fight the giant bear that had been terrorizing your city? Go for it. Go for it. If if he loses, that's one less mouth to feed. And if he wins, then all of a sudden my family's the like, you know renowned in the city. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that's pretty cut and dry. Let him Hmm. You also get some kind of loot for killing him kill him? What does he give me? What does he reward with me with? He could spoil this for me. It's okay. Is he actually a pride demon? Oh, if he's an entity, I feel like we should get rid of him if he's a demon. You know, no matter how how sexy he is, you should probably kill him. I mean, look at his abs. Mmm. Firing life wants out of its butt. Oh my god. Yeah, I wonder how they feel coming. Like, I wonder if they cause any problems coming out. More XP for killing as well. All right. Are we hitting on the front? <laughs> I mean, he's got fully rendered arms. I'll have to leave soon. So have a wonderful Aww. and relaxing weekend without further disasters. I, I really and also hope follow so. Weenie's CBT salute. CBT salute. CBT will burn love. Oh, thank you so much. You have a wonderful weekend without any disasters also. Yeah, I'm definitely hoping for just... I just want a week where I don't... Don't have to go to either the hospital for me or the hospital for my dog. At least at least the hospital for me is free. <laughs> at least I don't have to call the out-of-hours doctor. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's got diagonal asymmetric crystalline abs. Oh. I don't like his fingers, though. They really, like... I don't know. They're giving me the heebie-jeebies. I like his eyes, though. They're fun. The loss of them. And lots of horns as well. That's four horns. Two more than usual. I wonder what's got, who's got more good pride vibe precious Good vibe for a good weekend. Sick. Also, train CBT lol. Sick, thank you, thank you very much, Sick, thank you. Thank you very much. Sugar, sugar. He only has eight eyes for your precious. Got, yeah, but she got eight, you're right. No, seven. The seven. Where's the other eye, Chad? Or do I not want to know? Is the other eye... Alright, we'll get rid of them. I don't like his dick fingers, they're off putting. My deception was convenience, not cowardice. A fight you want. A fight you shall have. I like his voice as well, it's quite fun. 
Oh dear. Oh, what was I supposed to do? You wanted to see me do petrified, didn't you? I reckon he's gonna pass the... Did that work? That didn't work. <laughs> what does this do? Swarm of fighting insects. Large amount of damage. Right, let's go with that. Seeing a swarm, and then we will also use a fist. Petrify did work! <gasps> wow! Look at that boy! That's pretty cool. Oh, what a weenie. What a weenie. I'm glad we didn't keep him alive. Oh, we got heavy plate armor. Eh, it's okay. It's okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Don't tell Suzo I just let out a stinging insect swarm. And he disappeared. I like how he's got normal human... Like, see, that is the all the evidence I need that these creatures, every single one of them, are just humans. Look at these bones. They're just human bones. Every single creature in this game is just a human, but slightly different. Dwarves, short humans. Golem, braggy human. Pride demon. Human with really big abs. Oh, you can glitch it to get multiple rewards. Just keep handing in the sacks. Ah, oh, 20 or 30 sovereigns. Oh my god. What a cheap ass. 20 or 30 sovereigns for letting him live? It rearranges the bones to look human to confuse future truck. Oh my god, did you see there was a, uh, there's a thing they're trying to bring back to life. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, they're like stripy, stripy cat dog things. I don't, I don't remember what they're called. Aren't they trying to bring those back to life? <laughs> Could you imagine, Drew? Could you imagine? Precious is just on a random assortment of drugs. Why our eyes are so big. Yeah, maybe Tasmanian Tigers. It's the same company that's trying to bring back the Woolly Mammoth, though. I wasn't watching Cat Dog. Cat Dog scares the shit out of me. The fuck, like... I don't know who thought that was a good idea for a kid's show. It's the same, um, same thing as that pink dog. Courage, the cowardly dog, that's it. He stays, yeah, I hated that. Scare, Ugh. Maybe all species have evolved from humans. Oh, what do these look like? Oh, the spi spiders haven't, though. The spiders have distinctly different corpses. Running away from the doctors in white coats. <laughs> oh my god. It all went downhill after we killed our brother, really. Oh! <gasps> Gullix, that's that it, um... It is, it is, it is great. It is great. But I was just thinking that your message sounds like a um a planned, like you've been um. What's the word? Uh, you've been planted by Jeff Bezos. Been planted by Jeff Bezos. A three-day subscription to this channel. Gullix, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the three days. <laughs> oh, dear. No, I think you can get some pretty good value with the September as well. I think you can... Um, I think I, I read some really good value things about the, uh, the higher tiers. So I'm not... I, I'm a terrible streamer. I don't... I, I haven't completely read up on what they're doing for September this year. All I've uh, all I've seen is that they're doing the... So, Ooh. I have a question for you, dwarf. Don't want to interrupt oh. Shale. <laughs> Sounds like you're passing a stone there. <laughs> Get it? Passing a stone? Ah, <laughs> very funny, yes. Ogren. My question is this. Had the Anvil of the Void not been destroyed, 
Does it believe the dwarves would have used it? Hmm. You mean to create more golems? Oh, yes. Faster than you could squish a nug. Even knowing the agony that it caused, they would still inflict it on others. No need to inflict it. There'd be plenty ready and willing to sign up, just as you did. There's fewer and fewer of us each year, and the Darkspawn never run out. If it meant saving Orzammar, there'd and be you get to live forever. To a like, golem, sure. I'd consider Does being a it golem. Think it was wrong to destroy the anvil then? <sighs> no. Sometimes people need to be kept from doing stupid things, even for good reasons. It is referring to its former wife. I think some statue should sort off and ask their son. I was thinking that was actually quite a nice else. interaction for Ogren. Like, that's quite nice. Yeah, who could ignore so much power? And I don't think necessarily it would have been. Uh, yeah, I don't think it would have been wrong to have let people have the choice to volunteer. I don't think, but. In order to do that, I would have still liked to have had some level of control over it so that once the volunteers had stopped and the people being forced to do it started, and that wasn't a possibility, so. Yeah, we did get to the anvil part. It was a, it was a difficult choice. It was a difficult choice. The six month sub price is good. You're basically paying $3, $3.50 for a month instead of five. That's pretty, that's pretty good. And I think the, um, the streamers get the same. It doesn't change for the streamer, it changes for Twitch. I don't know what we want to do now. Chant in the deeps. Oh, we do, we're not doing that one. I don't think we've got any... stuff to do. Oh, the greatest survival skill. Have we got any survival This is, this is Grandma's first Dragon Age game. I will play the other ones. Uh, probably not directly afterwards. We'll probably do something a little bit different afterwards. I'm not entirely sure what we'll do, but we'll do something. Um, do something different. But I will probably... I really attached to this cheese knife. know whether we should get rid of cheese knife. I'm just, I'm really attached to this cheese knife for some reason. I really like it. Um, oh, is it press K? Oh. No, I've got nothing. I've got, I've got nothing. Right, we'll upgrade my survival skill. Next time I get a level up, we'll upgrade the survival skill so we can maybe go back. Um, plus five cunning is very powerful for a rogue. All right, we'll keep it then. <laughs> yeah, I know, Rooks, I know. Parrot body shit. Let's head back to uh let's head back to the party camp, talk to everyone, and then head off, shall we? The quest only needs someone in the party to have two survival skills. Oh my god, do you reckon anybody has? Alistair does not. Alistair has one. Okay. Ogren has none. Shale has obviously none. Wynn has none. Morrigan has none. Sten has of it none. Dacus doesn't have any. Lilania doesn't. <laughs> right, so we just want to give Alistair an extra one. Is he level upable? Party map tactics skills. I see that I can- Ah, yes! Right. What do we want to give Alistair? Maybe a little bit extra constitution, so he's a little bit more survivable. Maybe that's a bit too much. I don't know. Uh, I feel like Alistair, I just want to have- I just want him to be a strong boy and I want him to survive. That's what I want. So maybe we give him 42 strength and constitution 27. Yeah. Yeah? Shield users also need dexterity. Put up to 40 and give him 20. They're nice, like, they're nice even numbers, nice whole numbers. We'll go with that. And we'll get... Oh, bullshit! Requires 12 cunning. Oh, my God. 
God, just needs one more, right? Le one less in constitution and one more income. Next. I re apparently really want to do this side quest. Cleanse aura. Uh, friendly fire possible. I hate the ones that are friendly fire because I just, I can't be bothered to pay attention. Shield tactics. Character is proficient enough for the shield to defend from all angles. Go for it, Alistair. Go for it. Combat has made certain abilities more efficient, increasing the defense bonus for shield defense. Sure. Let me get another one as well. One cleanse aura. No friendly fire below hard difficulty. Take that. That's great. We may as well upgrade everybody as we're here. Well, as much as I can't be bothered. <laughs> as much as I don't want to sit here and upgrade, like, look at, look at that. 12. So we've been shoving it all into constitution strength. It's kind of basically he's Alistair but a dog. Uh, I've been giving him a bit more dexterity as well. Give him the shred ability. Leveling up is my favorite part. I I want to say it's my least favorite part, but it's probably it's not definitely not my least favorite part. But I do find it's a bit of a faff sometimes. Dexterity. Is there a doggy here? Is that? Oh, a... the doggy. All right, you can have Duelist as well, since I've got the option. Uh, you want strength? No. Dexterity, cunning, and a little bit of constitution. Let's make her a little bit more survivable. Combat arts. Yeah, that one as well. Next. Hey, Mel, how are you doing today? Happy Wednesday, Friday. I've been giving her loads of archery skills. She does have daggers as well. Um, but we will use archery too. Uh, Master Archer. I can see I've crashed. I'm going to keep going anyway. In the hopes that it, it just arises back on. Just, I'm uh, just going to keep going. Anyone who's watching the VOD? The special. Only you get to see. How we upgrade everyone. Can I level up the lily? Or did it burn take Maybe she's gonna level up. I swear to god I just Next. Oh, did I not save these? Oh she had another one. Let's give her all the archery skills. And she's got another one. Uh Bard Rogue. Deadly Strike. Great buffer face is always great. Great. I can just imagine what it looks like. I can just imagine. We're back! Nice! You know what I just decided? I decided I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Only the people who watch the VOD get to see how I upgraded Lily now. I don't know whether it'd be a... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this. I don't think I've ever noted the face on Zevron. What is that face? Um, It could be OBS. It could be Twitch. OBS has just been updated. Ugh. But it could be Twitch. Uh, I don't think it's my internet. Unless Greg is in, in, in chat to tell me. Susan barred me from streaming not enough snacks. She just pulled the fucking ruler out. Uh, we'll give him Duelist as well. He doesn't need to be a bard. Yeah, hang on. I can make an announcement. What's the button for that? Announce. Uh, refresh. We're back. Okay. Get me using using the things that Twitch gives me. Right, so Zevron keeps dying, so we're gonna make him. We're gonna give him some more survivability. We'll give him a little bit of cunning. We'll give him some more dexterity. We'll put him up to twenty-two strength, I think, because that's the next next for the next armor, I think. Home combat. Uh, live and lacerate, feast of the fallen. Ooh. 
Well, let's give him dual striking and repost. Oh my god, he's got so many fucking level ups. This is obscene. Right. Who else has. Who do we need to upgrade? Everyone done? Everyone done. Very nice. He's still buffering. Oh. If it's still buffering. Does that mean it's not me if it's not buffering for some people, but it's buffering for others? I'd like to argue that it's not me. But, you know, sometimes I get off stream and I say to Greg, ah, oh, you know, did was that me or was that, you know, was that Twitch? And sometimes I do find out that it was me. Ooh! We got some stompers ranged, though. Oh, no. Increases his hostility, then. I think this is fine. Get for some stompers. Look at those stompers! Hey, good morning, Bionic. Good morning. You know what? I hope it's Twitch. <laughs> if it's not working for some of you, working for others. Hopefully it's. Hopefully it's. Two streams in one day. You know, I'm a hard worker. I'm a hard, I'm a hard worker. I think we're fine with Alistair. We've got a blood gorged amulet. Oh, plus 12 constitution, but no strength and no willpower. I think that's bad, right? That's 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 not a good trade, I don't think. I mean, it's essentially plus. We get plus six overall. I want some. Um. <laughs> Let me into the crabberies, please! I don't think that's good enough for me to change it. That's if you want a tank to absorb kids. I give it to Sten. Yeah, let's give it a Sten. Why not? Sten, have you got a got an amulet on you? You do. What have you got? Electricity resistance. Bad for warriors, though. All things considered. Yeah, because I was thinking the strength wouldn't be good, right? Yeah, maybe for mages, because it's mine, but then you get a minus willpower. Bionic! Bionic, thank you so, thank you so much! Thank you so much for resubscribing! Thank you so much for continuing. <coughs> Sorry, I just choked on my cranberry. Thank you so much for continuing your gifts of you go from sick, thank you very much! Welcome back to the Wheaties, Bionic, welcome back! Oh my goodness. I, I broke my cranberry bag and I choked on one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Perfect for a blood mage. Oh, it doesn't need to for much more power. Oh, because it's a blood gorged amulet. Now nah, we'll sell it then. Mm. What's Sten using it as a weapon? The Nug Crusher. We gave him the Nug Crusher and the Dwarven Defender. I don't know what happened to Sten's sword. I don't know if I sold him. I don't remember what happened to his sword. I, I, I might have sold it. I, I'm not using it. Hey, Bacon. How is your Monday? Wednesday. Friday. Friday. I never think it's Tuesday. I always think it's Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. I've got no idea where his sword's gone. Mm -mm. I guess we'll just leave him to it. Probably bought it back when he was. Yeah, like he didn't murder me for selling his sword, but those kids, nah, fuck them. Kill those just because we kill them just because we think they might have taken our sword. Right, Ogren. Oh I like Ogren's. Ogren's loadout is kind of fine. As long as we don't have anything else for his waist. It probably is on the enchantment guy. <laughs> if you sold his quest sword, he would hate you. But what does he know? Hmm. You know, I just won't tell him about it. Um, ooh. These are nice for Wynn. He's some new shoes, Wynn. 
I don't have anything else to eat, though. Morgan, you want any new shoes? Oh, I've got the same shoes as Wim. Nothing else for you. I feel like I've reached the point in the playthrough where everybody is fully kind of kitted out and I'm quite happy with what they're wearing. I'm mostly happy with what they're using. Um. Hi, Stinky! Hi! She just leaves because she knows I don't have any snacks. Let's see whether this is any better than what... Hi! I don't have any snacks! I don't! No snacks! I have to show her my hands. She's like she's a policeman. I've got to show that I do not... I'm not carrying any weapons. I do not have any snacks. Excuse me, ma'am. Don't itch your allergies, please. Look at that cutie. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I thought. I didn't kill children. Stem killed children. Yeah. <laughs> they never believe you that you don't have any more food. If they could ask you to turn out your pockets, they would have you do that. Right, let's see whether the Sten wants this instead of the Nug Crusher. But I kind of like that he carries a something called a Nug Crusher. It gives him dexterity and stamina and a chance to stun. I feel like that's just better, right? There's two hands as well. Gabby, how are you doing? Yeah, she does, Herbal. She does. 100%. And Lily looks just... Like... This, this is the worst armor. This is not... Milady? Milady? Shale can probably use better crystals now. Do I have a better one? I thought she had pretty good ones. Hang on, we'll go we'll go through in order. Let's have a good show. So at the moment she's got a large flawless natural crystal. Mm hmm Oh protects her dignity to some extent. Protects her dignity a little bit more than Morrigan's. Brilliant is top tier. I have any brilliant ones? I don't have any brilliant ones. Sad. No, we don't have any brilliant ones. We've only got flawless. We've got clear. Badge. I did check for all of the crystals. There wasn't anything better than what we, what we picked up. Oh, we picked up everything. <laughs> I know you cast your weird hairless ape magic spells to create more snacks. Oh. So I am, um, we've got a bit of a snack, you know, the fanny pack snack pouch. I found it on um, the worktop. I, uh, you know, I don't know what I was doing there, but I found it on the worktop and uh, she was really curious about it. So I let her smell it as if to go, there's no treats in here. And there was a sausage in there. And I, and I had to be like, no, sausage isn't for you. <laughs> so she had done anything for the sausage. Okay, Lily, let's check out her. Daggers that she's got. What do we got? Dagger silverite. Is that better than anything that you've got? You've got two silverite daggers at the moment. So you could have the beastman's dagger. Beastman's dagger's pretty good. Look, it's red as well. Very cool. Good morning, everyone. CBT salute. Well, good morning. My wife decided to try something kinky for my birthday. She thought pegging would make my day special, but she was wrong. It made my whole week. Birthday as well. Happy birthday. Happy happy birthday. Oh dear. I always say that it is a family stream. It's fun for the for the whole family. We don't leave our grandparents here. Look, gilfs are cool too. Yeah, I might as well junk all the clear level crystals, yeah. We could probably even junk the flawless ones, to be honest. Mm. 
Alright, what have we got? Yeah, I think we're, I think we're all... Uh, the only people that I'm not happy with what they're wearing is probably Zevron, uh, Lily. I'm not super duper happy with what Morrigan's kitted out with. I'm not happy with her boots or anything, but I feel like Ogren, uh, Alistair, and Sten. Rather unconveniently Sten, because I don't like using him. I'm all very happy that they're kitted out. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I mean, losing your toe and managing the claim on insurance is pretty good, right? I'm sure you'll be you get the money. The goods, my boy and, and... I say, and with your discount. And you just lose a toe, that's it. Right, where is his what's his um What's his sword called? Is it this 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 sword? Like what's this what's his sword called? Oh, I did sell it. I did. We did sell it. Like shit though. Poor I sold it. It's tier three. It was garbage. Plus twelve attack means it's always good. What's it gone at the moment? This one's got he's got the nut crusher. Sorry for that blueberry mate. He literally got something called a nut crusher. Hmm. I'm not sure I've talked to Wade. We haven't gone to the other place in Denarium though. We haven't been able to enter the other area of Denarium yet. So like the cheese knife. Really attached to that cheese knife, all right? Really attached to it. Oh my god, more bolts. We wanted more bolts. Right, let's sell the fire arrows. Flawless crystal clear. We can probably sell both of these. Lord. Clear. 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 Uh, these, 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 these. I'm quite happy to just sell everything now, to be honest. Oh, crap. We wanted to get down to, we want to get back down to 31, I think. Because that's how much crap we had before. And I like to not add, not add crap. Oh, it's a rib, it's a gift, it's a gift. And I probably could have, these are all gifts. Two gifts, right. We'll, we'll have to give some of our gifts. If she was taking up an inventory slot. <laughs> I mean, if I could sell my mum for the Nug Crusher, then I'd think about it. Call the fucking Nug Crusher, that's great! Mm, I've, I've been tempted to keep this, but we'll just get rid of it. Because what's the point of keeping it? Alright, let's get rid of the corpse, the green stone. We're back down to another 31 now! Your mum's, until your mum's nickname was the Nug Crusher. <laughs> Goodness sake. Right. Who wants this remark? Shale. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Right. I want to see. I'm going to look at a gift guide just so I can quickly give away these gifts. Dragon Age gift guide. A totem was Alistair. Yeah, you do. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like it that much. Why didn't he like the totem? You sure the totem was his? He didn't like it. <laughs> Buy back something I sold on accident by the buyback. Yeah, I could I could buy back. I could buy Sten's sword back. It was for 
ten. Oh my goodness, Chad. First we sell his sword, then we hand his totem to Alistair. I can't I can't believe this. This is this is some this I'm on board with it. I like the link stand. I'm on board with it. No, I could I could buy it back, Demon. You're right, you're right. I one hundred percent could. But I don't like Sten, so it gives <laughs> So, you know, I wouldn't want to use my own money to buy it back for him. I, he's free to buy it back with his own money if he wants. But, yeah, I don't think he deserves that sword, you know? I don't think he deserves it. It doesn't surprise me that Sten might be into that kind of... Let's, uh, etch silver symbol to you. Oh! How dear of you! How dear of you! So much. No worries. What else we got? I've got a black rune stone. I'm not trusting you, Chad, anymore. I'm not trusting you. I'm not trusting you. Never almost the medium silver one. Yep. You have excellent taste. Very much. Your mum. What sword? We uh we got back Sten's um Sten's character story sword. So it's like his you know character side quest his story, um and uh, we sold it. I would I feel like he deserves. Alice's is the black room. Hi, hi there. Hello. There's a stinker. Hello. Oh, big flop. You don't say big flop when your dog flops over. Is it really your dog? I think I just went right in a second. Um, you go, Alistair. Is that for me? That is for you. Really? Yeah, really. Wow. I'm... Wow. Oh, I know. Yeah, don't worry about it, Alistair. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Let's uh, sort out... Ah, everybody loves their gifts. I did give it to him. I then promptly took it away and sold it. Not like I knew those children. <laughs> and I, now I don't get a chance to. Now I don't get a chance to. Let's go around and talk to everyone. Door rounds. I'll see you in a minute, Jeff. I have a question for it, if it will indulge me. It chose to side with Caradon and destroy the Anvil of the Void. I agree with its decision, and yet the Paragon Branca was the reason it ventured into the Deep Roads. Mm. Why did it choose to defy her? It could not have known really that Caradon would be able to assist it with the dwarves. It was honestly just because she was, yeah, she was insane. I wasn't siding with her. But we'll lie and say it's because you believed in Karen and I wasn't going to let you down. You guys know my real thoughts. I I am pleased that... Oh, I thought you'd be I pleased with no that answer. That was why That's why I gave that. it to you. At any rate, I wanted to thank <laughs> it. It gave Caradon the end he wanted, and I'm pleased to have been a part of it. I will have to think on Caradon's words to me. It was a great deal to absorb, but for now... Yeah, you've got to be a bit more porous, Shale. It has occurred to me that I have been... Excuse me. This is not easy. It occurs to me that I have been less than charitable with it since it reanimated This is when I have to apologize for something. This is what... This is, this is me when I have to apologize. You have good reasons, I think. I have come to realize that it has been good to me. You have been good to me, even though you had no this control rod to enforce obedience. I have never had one before, so I, I don't know how to thank you for being, you know. <laughs> A friend? Exactly so. Oh, I followed you I'll get out. To find answers to my questions, but I think I have found something. Oh, this is actually sweet. 
Stop! I'm honoured. Oh, let us not speak of this awkward bonding moment ever no. again. To the road. The friends we made along the... <laughs> we made them before we saw them I live. We're not friends with Sten, just to be clear. We're only... <laughs> we're quite the opposite. But we're not, you know, we're not close enough to be rivals. I like I wouldn't give I wouldn't give Sten the honor of being my rival. We just dislike him, just plain just plain dislike. Um I am listening. I have some questions. Have better things to do. I do not. Why are you? I did not think it needed to be said. It has never told me what gender it is, has it? Mm. No. No, that's like, yeah, fair Good enough, Shane. It. I am sure that to other creatures as soft and weak as itself, that would be perfectly obvious. The truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become yeah. an issue. No, not at all. Are we going to fight over the same myth? <laughs> You know, we're, we're immediately like, no one's thinking Alistair. <laughs> that would be a very precious answer, but we, we, <laughs> I can't bring, I can't bring myself. I can't, I can't. Like, I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm just making sure Shale isn't going to be like taking my uh, my claim to the throne with Alistair. Oh dear. Maybe Shale might like it. Oh ho ho. I can tell that this is going to be a whole pile of laughs. Oh yes. Comedy goldmine. Now, let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. That is a girlish thing to want to do, yes? I didn't get any plus or minus. I don't think Shale really loved that conversation. I think we're done talking to Shale now, though. I have been mistaken. What do you mean? Is that just because I said... Is he going to get aggy at me for selling his sword? You are a soldier worthy to stand oh. among the Beresad. I did not think so when we first met. Thank you, and I definitely did not sell your sword. What changed your mind? You did, of course. The day will come Great. when the Arishok sends us here. On that day, I will not look to find you on the battlefield. You think the Canari will invade? See, this is why I sold your sword, shit, then. This is why you deserve to have had your sword sold. Fucking hell. In time, there is no point in dwelling on it. We should move on. As you wish. Then just like Sten's just dropping the fact that he would what murder is your me. Wish, Kadan? I think you should leave, Sten. I am hardly surprised. Mm, I, don't know well. I think we've already asked him now. As you wish. Right. I used to think you were a loser, now I don't, but I will still murder you nonetheless. No, no, Sten isn't, Sten isn't responsible for, absolutely not, but I think he could, oh, Noss, Noss, thank you very much for giving us sub to Tenarian, Tenarian, welcome to the weenies, thank you very much, Noss, for giving us sub to the community, thank you so much, Noss, thank you, that's very kind of you, thank you, thank you, we could buy his sword, but give it to him and sell it. My thing was, was, I think that Sten could, like, he could, you know, he could choose to stay here. He wouldn't, didn't, it doesn't have to go back and he doesn't have to murder me. You know, he, he's like, oh, I don't want to meet you on the battlefield because I will kill you. Like, you could, you could not. <laughs> like, you, you could not do that with Sten. That's an option. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. Oh, really? What about, what about? Go, go ahead. I here we go. You and I, we've... Uh, you know how sometimes you spend time with 
people and things. Mm. Take your time, boy. I hope you're not asking me why that you're asking me. I was thinking, uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar, before I left, obviously. You want to go find her? It'd be nice to talk to someone else who's been out here a while. I've been out here Not, a while. You know, embroiled in a quest to save Ferelden oh. from a thousand years of darkness or anything. Now you're just making... You're making inane criteria to talk to people. How do you know her? Her name's Felsey. She and I were... Uh, Friends, after Bronco oh, left friends, for the deep right. roads. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought Given maybe you I'd for track what? her down. See how she's been isn't living. It, isn't it really weird? Isn't it really weird how everybody just happens to leave Orzammar around you, Ogrim? Isn't it, isn't it strange that everyone who gets to know you either goes to the surface or goes to the deep roads? That, you know, they go in whichever direction gets them the furthest away from you. That's... That is a, you know, one's a coincidence, two is a, two is a little bit of a pattern. At least he hopes he doesn't have to kill you. <laughs> That's very true. That's pretty kind for Stem. You're right. You're right. Okay. You cheated on Branca? What is she doing on the surface? What? Why are you asking me? I didn't do anything. That's true, Chad. That's true. They end up with me, right? She's gonna live with her they run away the from me. Near some lake. Uh, clean, bad lake, was it? Yeah, I saw it. I don't remember. Yeah, we can go there. No, no. I think it was clean, bad. I remember because I thought, yeah, that's right. Dirty, good. Clean bad. <laughs> yeah. His voice actor does a really but good thanks job. Thanks for offering to take way. us there. You're a good friend, Warden. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? I just wanted to ask you some inane questions, really. Um, I'd like to know more about, about you. Oh my God, there's so many questions. I don't want to know this much about him. You fine with what happened with Bronca? Oh sure, I'm fine with it. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets, but a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left, anyway. I imagine she wasn't... Why would she leave with a, pri a prize bull like yourself? The woman was a few columns short of a hall, you know? I mean, she leaves me and flits about with that watered tart hespit. What's she got that I don't? Just the thought of the two of them that? together, kissing and licking and intertwined on the floor of the deep roads. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go back to the tent for a moment to, excuse me. I don't think we'll spend any more time with Ogrim right now. I think we'll leave him to his... Something I can help with? Leave him to that. I'd like to talk to you about something. You need, need a bit of a chaser after that. Um, do you have any tales to share? Of course I do. Love to hear some. I just need something burned into my brain. Everyone should that. be able to benefit from them, I think. Tell me about the Darkspawn. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know. In their pride, they thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Great maker himself. Exhibition. E so exhibition? Thinking, they That's what Ogryn's doing, exhibitionism. Planning exposition. to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. Nah, it just means and her, it just means she's got the ugly armor on. they the golden city, corrupting it forever. The maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. But Any good, these people spread in their taint, taint, please. ...became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us 
and reminders of her hubris. Do you know any Ferelden legends? I know one. Told to me by my mother a long time ago. It always chill me to the bone. Maybe you have heard of Flemeth? I in the, uh, Morrigan's mother was called Flemeth. Ah, uh, are you sure? Was she the Flemeth of legend? Yeah. Flemeth, the devour of men. Yeah, that's her. Flemeth, mother of witches. Mm-hmm. Flemeth, demon touched, who dwells in the mists. Yep, or her. Yep, yep, yep. Um, she, uh, uh she didn't introduce herself. For elven such. mothers scare their daughters with talk of Flemeth. They say that if you're bad, Flemeth will spirit you away and bind you to her forever. She did do that as well. Oh, and will steal you oh, oh, thank you so much for giving us a Draco. Draco, welcome back to the Weenies. Thank you so much, Loss. Loss. That's so very kind of you. Thank you very much. Very good. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy the emotes. I hope you enjoy being back in the week. Thank you very, very much. The dungeon was lonely. <laughs> don't forget, don't, don't skip your porridge on Tuesday as well. Tell me the whole story. Flemeth's beauty was known oh. throughout the land. She had hair like unto a moonless night, skin as pale as winter's first snow, and eyes as Doesn't this sound like a Morgan? as the sea. When she came of age, she came to the attention of the Lord of Hyeva, Conobar, and he took her for his wife. Conobar soon learned that his young bride had the gift of magic. He kept this a secret, for he feared that she would be taken from him. Flemeth stayed with Conobar for some yeah, years. Yeah, Flemeth is the um, blessing, is the dragon she that we killed. Her art, and then one day, a young poet named. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I remember. I remember. We heard about this. Flemeth was captivated by Osin's voice, and he by her beauty, and they fell in love. This. Right, what happened then? <laughs> Flemeth longed to be with her true love, and she and Osin fled from Conobar's lands. Seeking refuge in the yeah, we already killed her. with the chasing tribes. They lived there happily for many a year. Till the day Flemeth received news that Conobar was dying and longed to see her face one last time. Flemeth's heart swelled with pity for the man who once was her husband and begged Osen to return to Conobar's side with her. No, but that's when like Flemeth and Osen entered such Hyaga, a bad they idea. Were captured by Conobar's men and Osin was slain in front oh, of Flemeth's fucking course. Well, this is just a bad idea altogether. the highest tower of the castle, there to await Conobar's judgment on her. Distraught at the loss of her love, Flemeth plotted yeah, yeah, revenge came against her husband. Yeah, yeah, came over and voice Flemeth. Sad we had to kill his demon, Intending for it to wreak vengeance on Conobar. But a spell went awry. The demon possessed Flemeth. Oh, oh, an abomination. The halls of the <gasps> castle run red with blood as Flemeth slaughtered Conobar and all his men. The last of Flemeth's humanity melted away, and at dawn, she stole back to the wilds. Oh, to plot and that's scheme fun. For years. They say she took to her side many chasing men, and with their help, begat her daughter witches, who even now prowl the dark places of the Kokari wilds. That was fun. Enjoyed like that one. Let's just move on. Let's let's move on. Sounds like a real precious. I may or may not be planning on inviting Gorin back so I can see his face one last time. What right? Just on, and his ugly wife, you know. Have you changed your mind about Alistair and me? I have watched you for a time and Perhaps I was wrong. There seems to be something special between the two of you. Yeah. He seems less guarded when in your company. As Allows himself I'm to I'm a very relax. special lady. And he seems genuinely happy. Are you trying to apologize for what you said? I think I was too harsh in my judgment before. And I am sorry. Thank you. Could you repeat that a couple more times? I'll put, uh, you wanted the best for both what of us. What you have may not last forever. Why does but she always have to say that? Part you. Why? But love's worthiness is not diminished because of that. I should have seen this before. 
Instead, you learn to cherish every precious moment that you spend together, knowing that it may be the last. And for those of us watching, well, it brings warmth to these old bones. She always has to! Know that so she always has to fucking give me a backhanded compliment, doesn't she? Life. She always has to. She can't just be happy for us. She's always like, well, it might not last forever. You know, duty might part you. You know, you can love each other for the moment. Like, bitch. What's on your mind? Excuse me? I don't have no. It is no trouble. My fucking hell. Oh, I'm sorry, but I still don't think you're going to be together for long. You look so tired, my dear. It's all this constant walking and fighting. So rude. I think I know what you need. When Alistair's king will banish her. A good night's rest. Mm, I'm thinking more drastic measures are called for, in fact. My thought is this. We retire to your tent and I show you the sort of yeah, massage Alistair, skills our babe. that one only learns growing up in an Antivan whorehouse. Uh, you must... Are you suggesting what I think you if are? you mean to ask whether or not there might be more than a massage involved, allow me simply to say that you won't be disappointed with any of the techniques I've picked up over the years. Not having a I, I, you must be joking! Are you see me laughing? This need be no complex thing. You are a beautiful and fascinating woman. I am, I am very interesting, you're right. I am who I am. Is there any reason not to enjoy each other's company? I, I, many a great, that there is someone else. Ah, my mistake. <laughs> there, there is someone else. I take it all back. Zephyr disapproves, minus 25. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? Minus 25? What say you? Again? I'm game. I want you to leave! Oh my god, what an asshole! What an asshole! Unless everyone turns out to be royalty, then I will. Yeah, then I will consider. I, think I, will consider. <laughs> I went off, Alistair. I feel like we'll just we'll keep him. He's nice enough, you know? Yeah. I think we'll keep Look him around, so. He's nice, you he's nice enough. Is. Even after we're queen. That's a rose. Oh! I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, like, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. The Darkspawn would come and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. Yeah, I'm giving in the brandy. I have. <laughs> That's a nice sentiment. I thought that I might give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. What, you think I'm ugly? Thank you, Alistair. What a lovely thought. Feeling a little thorny, are we? Oh my god. That might make him laugh. Oh, wow. She'll never see through that, I told myself. Boy, we're what? We know. What? I, I, I like... I guess it's a bit silly, isn't it? I just thought, here I am, doing all this complaining, and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since your As part of which, as a Not good a experience? thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. There, there's a good experience to have? Something. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this. I am a rather precious thing. Are we married? <laughs> Is that that's probably 
probably a bad answer, right? I want to lock him in, though. I want to lock him in. Is asking him to marry us? Is that, like... Is, is that too much? Or is saying I feel the same way about you just better overall? Can you get married in this game? You can always dump him. One step closer to the throne, that's what I was thinking. Are we married now? Haha, <laughs> you won't land me that easily, woman. I know I'm quite the prize after all. No need to start crying on me or anything. <laughs> I guess it was uh, just a stupid impulse. I don't know. Was it the wrong one? Thank you, Alistair. I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this awkward, embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. I don't want to... I don't want to watch the awkward sex scene again. I don't want to. I don't want to watch it. But I, we need to lock Alistair in, so we need to do all the positive bits. We've already slept with him, so we wouldn't have a sexy scene again, right? <laughs> Bluff called. Damn, she saw right through me. You're cute when you're bashful. I'll be. <laughs> I'll be standing over here until the blushing stops, just to be. Uh, safe. I don't want to watch it, Chad. Did he like that? Did I get? Did he? Did he? Did he like that? Was that good? No, what item did I look? Alistair's rose! Oh! <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Can I, like, put it anywhere? No, it's just in my inventory. Okay. So, all this time we've spent together. You know, yeah. the tragedy, the brushes with death, the constant battles with the whole blight looming over us. Will you miss it once it's over? I'll miss you, Alistair. I know it might sound strange, considering we haven't known each We're other. We're already very dating, long, Alistair. We don't need I to go through this every time we talk. Care for you a great deal. I think maybe it's because we've gone through so much together. I, I don't know. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Why is it so awkward myself. every time we talk to Am him? I fooling myself? Or I just want to like ask him how his day's ever... going. Feel the same way about I, me. We've already, we're already dating. So I fooled you, did I? Good to know. That. That wasn't too soon, was it? Good. I'll take that as a good sign. We've already had Make sex, Alistair. Beautiful. I am a lucky man. Yeah, Katie, no. exactly. Let's get back to what we were up to before, lest I forget why we're here. Something you need, my dear. I'd like to discuss something in private. What's, what's that? Of course. Something you need, my dear. What's what's that option? Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Oh, we can see where did oh where do you think this is going? Wow. You don't hold back on the hard questions, huh? I don't know where this is going. We have the blight to think of first, don't we? Everything else just seems so distant. I won't let you go, Alistair. I hope we have that option. <laughs> this isn't really the time for this conversation. Please, let's just talk about this another time. Why is he being weird about it? Won't let you or your money go, Alistair. Um, uh, do we want to talk to? Like, need, we do we? We actually have some questions for him. Of course. Uh, I don't know why do you keep it a secret? You never ask. 
I'm hurt, you didn't trust me. I cheap also. Uh, all right. If you want the full explanation, I'll give it to you. The thing is, I'm used to not telling anyone who didn't already know. It was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. And then after the battle, I've when got I should have told you. I don't know. It seemed like it was too late by then. How do you just tell someone that? <laughs> by the way, I'm the heir of the throne. I can understand I, that. I should have told you anyway. It was important for you to know. I guess part of me likes you not knowing. Oh, it was a sex thing. What happens when they people treat find me it? differently? I become the bastard prince to them instead of just Alice. Oh, you never, never would have cut the cut that to me. It shaped my entire life. I never I think never of you as the person I who's the heir of the throne. The king. The very idea of it terrifies me. Oh, I. What do you mean it? It terrifies you becoming king. You don't want to. You don't. You don't want to become king. Alistair, why not? Would you not want to become king, Alistair? Alistair, you the you know center of the throne, aren't you, Alistair? Doesn't sound stupid at all. Uh... For all the good it does me. My blood seems certain to haunt me no matter what I do. Mm. I guess I should be thankful that Arl Eamon is far more likely to inherit the throne. No! Right. Oh, I hope he's alright. Right, we've got to let Arl Eamon die. I'm we've got to let him die. Sooner. I, I guess I was just hoping that you would like me for who we I We've got to let him die. Arl Eamon's got to be out of the picture. Apology accepted. I guess it's kind of a relief that you know now. Let's go. It's very clear that we haven't talked to Alistair in literally forever. Something you need, my dear. I have some more questions for you, Alistair. Of course. Um, num, num, num. See, look, we haven't even asked him about the Grey Wardens. We're just like, not. How do you become a Grey Same Warden? Let's did. ask him that then. some blood, you choke on it and pass out. Alistair better give me the army. Oh yeah, who's gonna give me the army to help the blight? Can't the can't the kid give me the army? Uh very funny. I do my best. <laughs> he what just wants people to laugh at his jokes. Let's see, I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. You don't seem like the religious You're telling sort. me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. The Grand Cleric didn't right. want to let he, me go. He has basic Duncan numeracy, which is lovely. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually. And was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Um... Why did the Grand Cleric want to keep I you? I wondered that myself. It's not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Warden. Oh, all. The I can't let him much. die so that Alistair gets and the I think throne. I do more fighting the blight anyhow rather than sitting in a temple. It's somewhere. fine. I'm sure we'll I'm I'm sure we'll get Alistair on the throne. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never. I wouldn't have. Oh, he's so. <laughs> I love how they make the characters have the sad faces. They're like, sorry. No, it's. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not funny. It's sad, guys. It's sad. Be. It's fine. He died a hero. They all did. Oh yeah, Come they on, did. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Oh, you're angry. You're angry. You're angry at me. Oh dear. Right. What do we want to? I'm seeing Alistair sad. I just love the way his little face screws up. It's very funny. Uh, do we want to take Shale with us? I'm always curious of what they've got to say. Um. Let's take Shale, Alistair, and Wynn, maybe? I want to take Alistair out with me. Oh, but... it. Yeah, we'll take yes. Alistair. Not the biggest damage. I'm the rogue. Don't worry, I'm the rogue. Um... 
Yeah, she's the, she'll be the damage dealer. We're going for a double tank healer Aruga build. Yeah, don't serve them up to me through your algorithm. Oh, I hate these. I hate these. Like, this is the one thing I dislike about this game. Is these stupid little fucking fight. Oh. Do you have coins, stranger? The doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegrin can give you a discount. I just Find weapon Tegrin. and arms. Dwarven made. Um. Right. What we got? Garbage. Okay. Let's head out. <laughs> Do we sell everything we did? Zev inevitably hit on Shale. Oh my god. I'm surprised Ogren hasn't, to be honest. Ogren's only interested in win at the moment, though. Right, so we want to buy some armor while we're here. Lads, come on, follow me. All men are the work of our maker's hand. From the lowest slaves to the highest king. Those who bring ham without provocation to the least of his children are breaded and cursed by the... Breaded? Those who bring ham? Breaded, like... Like... Like breaded chicken. Like the pumpkin eater tone. I have no idea. No, no memory of that. All right. No memory. Right, who's got the who's got the good armor? Who's got the good shit? Oh, I can steal out of this chest. Ah! Oh, yeah, fifteen silver just lying around. Is that the sister of the guy in White Run? It is a pleasure to see you again. Have my flowers enticed you? I don't know where. Or where is Wade? You tire of the smells of the city and would buy my I like this lady. She's nice. Ah, uh, where are you from? I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? Oh, Severin would is be. a fine city, but I miss my Varroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Why did you leave? Orlais has many, many good things, but it is sometimes not so good to be common. My brother had trouble with a chevalier, and we departed shortly after. What kind of trouble did he get in? Uh, this chevalier. is so nosy for a like she's never met us before. Me. It was his right, but it was unwelcome, incensed. My brother hit him over the head with a pot. Such a thing is almost treason. We left that very night and came here. <laughs> Shrike Nova is, is noble is a grave offense. Perhaps Your brother did what was fine. right. But in human lands, things are sometimes not so clear. Many revere the Chevaliers for their skill, honor, and deeds. But others tread She kind of sounds like someone from Tucson. As lightly oh. as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I... I feel a touch lightheaded. It is a pleasure to see you again. Have my no, I will not excuse you. you. Or perhaps you tire I'm of the back for of the more nosing. Nosy information, oils. please. Oh, I don't. She's just flavor text. Right, I ideally want to go to the other place in Denarium because I kind of, I'm kind of stuck. I don't really have that much to do. We do have the Brazilian forest. We went out of our way to get that. Uh, companions. We've got oh, Ogren's old. Bit. Oh my god, we forgot. I forgot. I wanted to find Ogren's old girlfriend. Oh my goodness. Now we're leaving. We're leaving. I want to also. I brought Alistair along for a reason. What did I bring? I brought Alistair along to do the we'll do the Brazilian forest. There was that sick goat or a uh, horse or unicorn or something there, and then we will do Ogren's. Um... Got it. Right. Uh, 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 Brazilian forest. I hope we don't get attacked while we're on our way. I reckon Dragon's Peak well, is where... I reckon that's where the uh, game will end. 
Oh, we did get attacked. I will not stand idly by while outsiders steal from the Dalish. Who the I fuck are you? The keeper's orders. You will pay for your transgressions. Attack! I see a trap. I see a trap. I see a trap. I see a trap. <laughs> Consequences of stealing. I didn't steal anything. I haven't stolen anything from the Dalish. I didn't steal anything. I left it. I left it in the um. I left. I know exactly what they think I stole out of the box. But I left it in the box. Someone with a death. Yeah, you know, they ha are quite bold for attacking a Grey Warden who killed all of the werewolves. We will disarm all of the traps because it gives me some nice XP. Got it. Uh, <coughs> all right, all right. More XP and loot. That's true. It's true. The positives are uh, the later. consequences are only positive. Yeah, I never steal. I've I've never I. I'm an right, object right. liberator. And Can I get you a well, if so that counts as stealing. Then then I then I am a criminal, you know? If that's what counts as stealing over here, then call then call me a criminal. I like to make sure the objects are truly appreciated in my pockets. Mm. The Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> at least we know Shale won't need that. Look at that! Look at that! Look! Whoa! He thick. Uh, I think we're in the wrong place again. It is, and you. <laughs> I think I clicked the wrong. Uh, we want to be at the camp. Exactly. I still remember the time where we stole from those refugees in that church. It, it was absolutely necessary for our fight against the blight. Come to check on my home. Nah, we want to. We want to help this lady and her goat. I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help? I think. I think we might now have some grateful. skills. Hey, yeah, welcome back. Yeah, you can't even take someone else's property without being labeled as a thief. I know! I know! And they've got it like just hanging out of their fucking pocket. Examine. <laughs> Choices and consequences and in Mass Effect. What do you think? I... I'll find I'm drink. glad you attempted it regardless. I thought I just needed one survival. Or two survival, which is what Alistair has on him. Yes. <gasps> That's it. She's calming down. That's it, love. Be calm. I mean, she looks a Tell little bit jittery. You. Ah, I see. It is her life mate who is sick, not her. He was bitten on the leg during the attack, and she fears greatly for him. I did not realize another hollow was injured. This will allow me to prevent the I didn't the realize another hollow had a gaping wound herb. on its leg. Asiranus, thank you. You have done my clan a great boon this day. Well, I will always be yeah, grateful Yeah, lots of people do help. say I have a great boon, so... You wouldn't be the first. Right, let's go to Ogren and do his uh, do his quest to find his girlfriend. I wonder if we can t adopt his girlfriend and take her with us. I don't know whether I'd want double the Ogren though. Never notice when you <laughs> have terrible injuries. Hey, everybody is very fit and well at the moment. Thank you. Uh, maybe we should. Just blah, 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 blah. No, I was gonna see if I could buy something off that guy some armor, but I don't. About what you said before, Shale, about slavery. It is profitable, so I am led to believe. It is wrong. And it is no more right to make a slave out of a golem. I think no one understood how golems were made, Shale. Perhaps we should have suspected, but no one knew. Golems were like spells. Useful. I am useful. I'm better than any fireball, that I'm sure of. 
It's not the same thing. When this is over, I will make certain that the Circle of Magi knows the truth. Your people should not be treated as objects. <laughs> I have no people. I mentioned the slavery because I knew it would be bothered. No other reason. But I... It still deserves to... You are a very perverse creature. <laughs> you know this? It almost wishes it had a control rod, no? <laughs> Oh, they're kind of they're kind of fun together, aren't they? I think they're getting along. Right. Uh, let's go back. Let's go grab um grab Olgren and head out. Not a good hacky. There, I keep Tana because alive, and that's all that matters. Right. Who do we want to take with us? Olgren, I guess. Win is a standard. Yeah. I kind of want to take Alistair, you know. I feel like we haven't taken Alistair out and about in a while. You know, he's starting to get leg cramps. Right, let's head to Lake Add. You know, he's going to get weak if we don't take him out at least once or twice. Zevran, I'm not so not super super like uh, keen on. It's just he just keeps dying. There might be some fun. There's always some fun. I think we did do a couple of quests here as well. Um, is that your girlfriend, Ogren? No? Any of these corpses? Your girlfriend? Oh, look, this one's still got loot on it. I can't. I, ca I can't pick it up. Any of these fish, girlfriend? There she is. <gasps> I'm gonna go talk to oh, her. Oh, that was easy. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? Right. I... Uh, uh, yeah, what you... Of course. <laughs> Thanks, Warden. Go, go get... Maybe I should talk to her first. Find out how much she misses old Agra and... I just want, I just want to kill. stick my nose as far and into this sort of affair as possible. That's me. <laughs> Mr. Char. I just... I want to be as involved as possible. Hello! What can I get for you? And don't say mead. We ran out of that a week ago. And don't say rum, either. Ran out the day before yesterday. And don't say brandy. When did you run out of brandy? Oh, we haven't yet. It's just terrible. We got it from a shady Orlesian trader, and I think She's it might She's almost really got eyes as big as mine! Kelsey, I need tables clean, girl! I've got a customer! What's the dwarf doing work in a bar like Callan had? Same as I'd be doing anywhere, earning coin. My mother lives here. Someone's got to take care of the old Bronto. Um, I just, I don't see many other dwarves these days. You're not missing much. They say you forget the Maybe stone I should when chatter you come up. to the surface. And they're right. Dwarves here are just shorter, handsomer humans. <laughs> well, I guess you might be missing out, come to think of it. Uh, yeah, I know a friend named Ogren. Uh, did you have to bring his name up? I just ate. What happened between you two? Oh, is he not exactly a fan? You could say that. You could also say I would rather kiss a deep stalker on the lips than see him again. Does she not see him? Like, over there? What happened between you two? What happened? Is that a serious question? Have you met Ogren? Unfortunately, I have. Drunker than usual, yeah. even. Took off his pants and challenged a roast nug to a wrestling match at my father's funeral. He lost, by the way. The roast got him in an arm lock. He sat there crying for half an hour before someone pulled it off him. How did he... It was a sodding good roast. Elsie, what in Andraste's name are you doing? The tables, girl! All right. I've got to get back to work. Ogren approved of that. Look, can I, like... Bye, Welcome some... back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? Of course. There's anything like, is I there, can is there any way I can pay this lady's wage for an hour and just, you know, let you, let me talk to her without you interrupting? I got work to do. I don't need to think about that sodding waste.
You know, he might be in a full suit of armor, but I can see the tears. I can see the tears. Maybe that's how she doesn't know he's there. Is because he's just in full, full armor. The juggernaut, the juggernaut armor hides. Well, what does she say? Yeah, I just want to talk to her, Digit. It's not like that. I just, she hasn't forgiven you for the nug incident. Ah, that fight was rigged. Anyway, the guard said it wasn't worth pressing charges. So she's no call to hold a grudge. Did she say anything else? Uh, go, go get her. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Well, look what the nug dragged in. I should have known you were in the neighborhood by the stench. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Unfortunately. <laughs> if you call getting drunk and wetting yourself fighting. <laughs> ah, I'll just watch. Well, watch. There's no, if you haven't got something it, nice know, to say, don't say it at all. Can't leave a blight to the humans. They'll just muck it all up. The whole surface to choose from, and you just happen to come to my tavern? Yeah, well... Uh... Is it, it was looking for you. It was, it was looking for you, actually. Do I just watch? Do we just watch? Is that the polite thing to do? Just watch? From behind, Precious and Odd Grin <laughs> look relieved. At least it's from behind, not from the front. Be a wingman. It's the only sodding place to get a drink for miles. Hell, you've been thinking of her. That's true. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Agrin? That that's true. Nothing. I'm not that alive for him. See how you were doing. He's a all. dickhead. I'm not that alive well, for him. Maybe that and. Grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. Can't waste time here. The Queen's waiting for us. Don't let get the door going. hit you in the I'm not lying. Out. Actually, who am I kidding? Go ahead and let it. Indulge yourself. She... Ogren disapproves. Ogren. Look, look. You can't disapprove of me not trying to hide your terrible personality. Like, I don't feel like this is a me. I feel like this is a you. I just watched. <laughs> you know, I did say one helpful thing and then just watched. It's not, you know. Just take that duster out of here. I don't want to look at him. Then I have to fucking look at him. Better. Well. You sh could try again. Not very surprising. After this thing with the archdemon's over, I'll have to pry the ladies off with pliers, Ash. I suppose. <laughs> Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? She <laughs> said. Uh, I'd like to know more about you. I'd like you to leave. <laughs> Aye. All right, then. I feel like... Ogren disapproves minus three. I feel like... Yeah, I could have done a better job as a wingman. Yeah. But I, you know, a wingman can only go so far. You know, I can't... I can't help but you fly away from your bad personality. You know what I mean? You know, wings... Wings can only go so far. I can't work miracles. Watch guard of the reaching summoning sciences, Blackstone Regulars, and of the Sacred Ashes. So we've been struggling with that a little bit more. Trying to bribe him with some gifts. <laughs> just give him alcohol. It just like that's all he wants. All he wants is alcohol. Um we could do this. Maybe he would see reason to leave your party to be with her. I kind of want him to say my party because he's more, like, more chobbed. 
Fourth shot to fire at the darkspawn, right? One more plea for help remains. Um, I don't know what the plea for help wanted. Was I mean? Uh... Okay. Can't do loathering anymore. Can I not? Sad. Okay, the only thing that I can see that we can actually do here is um, the signs of safe passage for the Brazilian forest. Lothering doesn't exist anymore. Complex mage quest or the Brazilian forest one? We'll do the Brazilian or will the haven? Done haven. Where is it? Osma Village of Haven. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, let's go for the let's go for the Village of Haven. Why not? I do kind of want to swap out Ogren because I don't want to take him with me. <laughs> I don't want to take Ogren with me anywhere. Oh, that's cool, Trev. Is there any fun ones? Are there any fun ones? Let's see if Ogren's got anything to say. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. I ask myself that every time. What's wrong, Ogren? Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. Did you want to talk about something? No. I well, hello. Oh, he's sad. He's sad. Oh, we like the proof us too. He's sad. <laughs> Humans produce herlocks, dwarves produce gerlocks, that makes sense. Elves produce sharlocks, popularly known as shrieks. Oh, the one that I thought was Shrek. And canari produce ogres. Oh, fun! What about, um, is there any other ones? Um. I presume golems don't produce anything. And dogs don't produce anything, my guess would be? Yes. Let's take Alistair. Yes. Let's take Wynn. Obviously me. Who do we want to take a little bit of spice? Um, let's take Morrigan. Indeed. This is like my favourite, my favourite group. Interchangeable with Tainticus as well. Right. Let's head to Haven. And I presume dog can't move mothers. That would be a bit odd. Oh, obviously me. Well, you know, Precious is the most important. We're going to be going to the village of Haven. Oh, for fuck's sake, this guy. I don't want any of your stuff. He's following me around. Yeah, we met the dwarf brood mother. Surprisingly tall, you know? Like, she was... I would have expected her to be a bit smaller. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. I have business here? I'm a no, business lady. Not. I would have been informed if someone was expecting a visitor. I I'm a I'm a business lady. Is Brother Gentibi here? Who? Perhaps revered Father Irick will know of whom you Oh, speak. he let me in a bit easily. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Well, can I like just sit a and wait somewhere? Father, huh? That's new. I wonder what this means. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Oh, is it like a religious haven? I would like to explore, please. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. I'm just, just visiting. Why well, do you have a revered father, priests, or women? It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. He's given me, he's given me, um, he's given me bad vibes. Oh, your tradition's Our different. Are not the ways yeah, it's of sussy, the isn't it? Cities. Um, I don't want to ask him about the end of Secret ask Ashes, because that's like, way. 
How long has Haven been here? always been here. Bug-eyed violent dwarves with home. sticky fingers. I can wash them. I can wash my face the cranberries. He's in charge of the village. Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. Uh -huh. He's in the Chantry giving a sermon. You should not disturb him. I haven't heard anything. We keep to ourselves. We see no need to announce our presence to the world. It's more mm. peaceful that way. Are you trying to hide something? This sounds like a cult. This sounds a bit like a cult. Well, perhaps you should return to the lowlands. Uh, very well with you. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder? Or is it just me? They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? Cult. He had quite a lot of money on him. Hello, child. Oh, actually, let's break into a house first. Hello. Oh, a love letter! Nice! I fucking love the love letters. Like, right, who do we get? Um. To Warreth Lowstone. Age, race, height. I care not for the differences others perceive. But matching your helmet to my tunic for the amusement of standing in line with your new silent sisters invited attention where none was desired. I will not suffer your company again. Alison Highover. Scribble below. Gonna miss knocking heads with those girls. <gasps> Penny. Oh my goodness, Penny. It's been a while. How have you been? How have you been? Oh my goodness. It has been a while. Did we miss any of these? Well, I think we've read all of them. This altar appears to have been used recently. A pool of blood remains running over the sides in dark rich, rich, rivulet, rivulets. Used for food preparation, perhaps? Does meat bleed that I'm much? I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. That is human blood. Oh, thank you, Morrigan. Thank you. How do, how do you know? I just do. I also know that no one can lose that much blood and live. This village... Is not quite I love these easy. three. These three are great. Penny. Oh, Penny, I'm glad I hear you're doing better. Penny, I hope, you keep on, I hope you keep on doing well as well. I've been all right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, I've been a little bit sicky, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh my god, death murders. They're murdering me. They're murdering us. Oh, they are cults. I told you, Mr. Cult. I told you. I told you. Penny, I'm absolutely taking down a cold. I knew it! I knew it. Oh, closing out! Oh! And when will you be moving in, Penny? That's so exciting. There are a cult of people who attack bur burglars called the Neighborhood Watch. Now they gotta now they gotta watch me pick in all their pockets. Something oh, you need, no. my dear. Thank you, Alistair. Not right now, Alistair. Not right now. I should have bought Sten. He's big he's big on killer villagers, he is. There was, there's no kids though, so Sten might not be super interested. Oh look a chicken. Hello. Hello little chicken. Oh, I can't punch him. Not that I'd want to punch a chicken, obviously. Oh, this is nice. I do wonder, is it permissible for two Grey Wardens to... Oh, what is the word I search for? Caboodle? Fraternize. What's wrong with fraternizing? <laughs> it seems most undisciplined for an organization that... Are you jealous, Morrigan? Whatever is necessary. To I think she might be jealous. Look, Morrigan, I'm going to be queen, not you. nothing to do with the other. Oh no. And what if a Grey Warden was forced to choose between the Warden he loved and ending the Blight? What should his choice be? <laughs> that is a, a ridiculous question. And I have my answer. Most kind of you. Oh, we go. Can't go around kicking chickens. 
Right, should we go around in a rather circular fashion? Is there a door we can enter here? What about over here? The book over there. Oh, look, a cow! Bit. All right, all right. Bit small for a cow, don't you think? Cows are usually bigger than this. It's just a short <laughs> So I stand next to many cows. It's my hobby actually. Um just really love pushing them over. <laughs> just love tipping them. Just love pushing them over. End of the month seller has two weeks to move out from the seven. Oh. oh are you how excited are you? I uh, yeah, I I am actually quite the expert. They call me um cat in bat uh cat in cow tail actually. Um, that's my nickname. My nickname at home. My mum's really proud of me. Just a human with horns with a tail. She was a little short for a cow. Got it. We take all. He was dead when I got here. He was dead. He was. I didn't. Don't think I did. I kill this man. He was dead when I got here, right? Did I kill him? I'm sure it's fine. Been in the works for nearly two months now. Penny, how did you pick which house you wanted? Like, what was it about this one that you liked? Got a good amount of land. Oh, you never know. Are on you it. gonna? Do you have any pets, Penny? I think you do, don't you? I don't know why. I feel like you do. Ooh, ooh, oh, gifts! Oh, nice. Okay. How far away it is from people? Will you have good internet? Yeah, the blood just pour out of that dead wound. Exactly, sect. Exactly. You see, I didn't have anything to do with it. See, this, this guy was definitely here as well. I wasn't here. You do have... I thought you had cats. I thought, but I didn't want to... Oh, left on this dismembered man. Indicate that he was from Arl Eamon's house. Oh, -wee. Okay, this is exciting. This is my kind of shit. I love a cult. We're going to get a dog. Oh, I don't have a dog to show you. I was going to show you my dog, but she's gone. Gone for, she's gone for snacks. Her snacks are in another castle. What kind of dog are you getting? May I make a recommendation of a greyhound? They're very cute. Best you get! Best you're gonna get! Oh, no, I don't want a bitch. She's a cute little fluffer. Fresh is doing the true crime net podcast narration. <laughs> I approached and that man was already dead. Do they really, do they really think that they can just punch me? You see this group of people walking towards you and you're like, I can take him down with my knuckles. Just fucking, I know they've killed other heavily armed people right in front of me, but I bet I can bare fist them. I bet I can one on one. Got it. Yeah, subtler than laughs and yeah, with their affection. Like Susan, very stingy with her kisses. I just want, I just want. I just want a kiss, Suzu. I just want, I just want a kiss. All right. Kiss a kiss. <laughs> oh, it's ducks. Oh, mega cute. Yes, that's badger approved. Getting ducks is badger approved. More like cats, one hundred percent. She loves a rub. She loves we a rub. Are blessed but beyond measure. We are she's, chosen she's by the stingy holy with her kisses. And beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your Look hearts. Look at me walking in. Her. Drawing up to the club Lift like. Your voices and how goes the blight? Not, it pales in comparison to me. Faithful servants to glory when her. 
Ah, well, we're uh, we're defeating a I cult heard now. We had a visitor wandering about the village. Murdering I everyone. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far. Oh yeah, I love just killing everyone. That was great. That was that was, that was really great. Um, and I I also I I loved the altar that you had in that one house. That was really lovely as well. Real landmark. Um, you should really put it on a TripAdvisor page. Uh, love the, the 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 real blood that you used. I really feel like it added to the um, realism. You know, it really added to the realism. Uh, I do question when you said we had a visitor wandering about because I wasn't really wandering. I was more kind of, you know, and you know, going bare bare knuckle, bare knuckle one on oneing all of your cultists. Uh, but uh, yeah, you killed the Knights of Redcliffe. I did. I did see the bodies. I what's what's going on? Bodies or bloodstained altars? Not sure which one to touch on first. Um. Ah, let's ask about the knives. You can use up with the knives this, my and the brothers, blood. This, what happens when you let an outsider into the village. They have no respect for our privacy. She will tell others of us if we I will. Her. Yeah, I Word will, actually. will spread. And then what? Well, hopefully you, other people will come and kill you, too. You do not understand our ways. You mm. would bring war to Haven. In I would, ignorance. actually. Hmm. Yeah. Uh... What about Brother Jen Tibby? What are you doing with him? We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. I think you do, actually. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Right, where is he? Did he just disappear? Well, you know he really needs stronger cult. There he is. Hello. Come here. Oh, I got an achievement! Nice. Oh, cat's got a separation anxiety. Dan Meow running around. Oh, what a baby. What a baby. Will the uh, cats do okay with the move? It's a cookout. And you're on the menu. Oh, I got a cultist medallion. That's nice. Nice. Ooh. A ring of faith. Fire damage would be quite nice. Don't think anyone uses fire in my I'll party, but I can sell that. I do like his um his bureau. His bureau where he can do his reading and uh you know make sure his amulet is is in the correct place before he slaughters innocents. That's nice. Oh, and he's got a nice, you know, nice nice bed. The nice tapestries. He does have a nice room. Yeah, it's really ro uh, roomy. It's, a <laughs> it's really spa spacious. I feel like he could have gone for one big rug, though, rather than two smaller rugs. I know it's probably more cost effective, but as the head of a cult, I shouldn't imagine he's kind of wanting for cash. Um, yes, yeah, got those nice high ceilings. Nightmare to heat, though. Absolute nightmare. And I don't see... I don't see a fireplace, so it must get quite chilly at night, you know. It does help break up the room, you're right. Maybe two different rugs would be nice, that kind of like colour match. I feel like the it's just a little bit samey. Oh followers are for oh they they yeah. Followers are to snuggle you when you <laughs> snuggle you while you sleep. Make sure you don't get cold. Now's better than later. Or the followers you can set a light, so why need a fireplace when you could just set one of your followers a light? Um I I'm really interested by this quite this quite obscenely large dining room table. Uh, I I guess it does double up as a sacrificial table too. You could say see I would say, hmm, let me see how many people could you seat on each side? Yeah. You you think you could get four on each side? My friend. Yes, it is quite a focus for the room. It's right at the end as well, and you've got the rugs looking up to it. What shall we do? Yeah, you could you could fit four quite comfortably on each side. So that's a sixteen seater. That's a sixteen seater. That's quite you know. I can imagine that he's got quite a large family that he has around for Christmas dinners and such. And you know, you could put the Christmas tree right here too. That would be nice. Hmm. Just need a couple of lazy Susans. Yeah. And I like he's a dog. He's a fan of dogs as well. That's nice, Penny. I will see you later, Penny. Good luck. 
a wonderful, wonderful day. It was lovely to see you. And I hope the move goes well. I want you to come back and tell me all about the move, okay? We should move in. We should. It's got enough space. Oh, and there's stained glass windows. They'd be uh, horrible to clean, though. Like, think about the cost to clean. Oh, secret doors, though. Secret doors is a real selling point. It's a dance table. Oh, and a library. Oh, Brother Jed Tivy. I wonder if he comes with the place or that's an optional extra that we have to add on, you know? Engraved silver bowl. Nice, we can put that in the middle of our new table. Oh, he's sitting up. Oh, he's not dead. He's fine. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I like, oh, I like the, is that a chandelier on the ceiling? Is that a chandelier or just a design? Seems like it just has just become vacant. <laughs> really convenient, that, right? Hello, Who Brother Gentivity. Jed Gentivity. Is that your they name? Sent you to finish it. Uh, I am here to help you. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I. Oh, the leg's not doing so well. And In my, 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 my oh, most of my longer running DD campaigns, there's always a discussion if the party should take this or that villain lair as their next base. All of them. All of, take all of them. Take all of them. If you've got a powerful enough mage, get the mage to magic some feet on one of the villain's lairs and run like run them so they sit they, they're together so you kind of like combine the lairs. How's moving castle style? So you get you get everything all at once. Served whole human meat? That would be cheaper for Christmas if you're feeding sixteen people. Serving some of your followers meat would would lower the cost, you're right. That's a good tip for Christmas. Yeah. How's moving castle or Baba Yaga's hut? Eh. Why, why, why pick one when you can have all of them? Castle Dracula from Castlevania? When can you help? I can set the leg and ease some of the pain, but he'll need a lot of rest in uh, order to the heal. healer, so that's why I don't have it. time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. Oh, thank you for telling me person who had no evidence that I was actually a good person. He's like, oh, the treasure? The really, really, really valuable treasure that everybody's looking for is just up that mountain yonder. I hope you don't kill me now you've extracted the information from me. How do you know? My research led me to Haven and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. Maybe that's the a reason The door is for that. always locked, but I know what the key is. Oh. Ulrich wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Shoves it up his ass every night. Yes, that is your key. Why do I have take to take you? Take me to the mountainside and I don't trust you. him. Could you answer some questions for me first? All right. What is on your mind? Banana! How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, Brooks, no, you have a great travel. I will see you. I will see you next week. I want to hear all about, I want to hear all about your Labor Day weekend. You have a wonderful time. Sun cream. Don't forget to put on sun cream, drink plenty of water. Don't join any cookouts, all right? No sanctioned, <laughs> unsanctioned Captain Badgertail cookouts. Uh, do you know about the knights who were sent to look for you? Yes, of course. How could I forget? Eirik said they were ambushed, some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had he tortured just like and murdered an these men. Hey, Foxy, good morning. Good morning. He's not going to be bothering anyone else for a while. Good. Eirik and his fellows were a blemish in the Maker's sight. If the Maker would even deign to look upon this world, that is. Let's oh, he seems so sad. Now, Turn that frown upside down. It's a little odd, isn't it? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. Um. Oh my God, there's so many questions. Ah, <sighs> no, do you know about Hope and They call themselves the disciples of Andraste. Drunk, I'll see you later. Devoted. Have a good sleep. One could say sleep. fanatically Thank so. Thank you for being here. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though, as though she were still alive. So my guess is that there's somebody posing as Andraste. Is Andraste? I'm old enough to know that 
Anything is possible, child. How old is there something is? else you wanted to discuss? He looks like 40s. What is... Is this another... Is this another win situation where Win is 49? And she acts like he's eight, uh, she's 80. Is he only 34? What were the villas they doing with you? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me. Where I grew up. Things like that. They were planning on... Oh, a fake Gentivian denarium. Because I killed him. There was an imposter Waylon at your house. An imposter? What happened to the real Waylon? Uh, he's, he's, I found his body stuffed in a box. Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. Bear in mind this planet may have a year longer than 360 days. 365 days. You're right. You're right. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if it was like 10 times the amount. He's an old son. There will be time to grieve. Die protecting your research. Chief believed in me even when i lost faith in myself i will honor his memory he's kind of cute there, isn't he? he's got nice eyes was there friendly uh, eyes else you wanted to say um i feel like he should return to denarium do we take him with can i uh, all right spoiler time i want to spoiler do i take him with me or do i take him do i send him home Do I take him? All right. Does it make a difference? What is on your mind? The astral curl, Earl Eamon, was it? Your Earl Eamon. Is the Earl sick? What happened? Oh! He was poisoned or look, he doesn't know. Logain? Why? Send him home, that's oh, what I, I was thinking. So but occupied with the urn. I've missed so much. I certainly hope the ashes will save him. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. Yeah, I, I think send him the home. ashes are magical. You make them so. If it doesn't work, we'll find another anyway. way. That can be discussed once we actually have the ashes. And the arm is better. Craig. Craig, thank you so much. Happy Farting Friday, Craig. All right. Are you ready to go? Happy Farting Friday. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Uh, I think you should return to Denarium. This has been my life's work. To have come this far, only to have to turn back. I couldn't bear it. Please, let me see the temple with my own eyes. If he dies, he dies, because it's his life's work, right? It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. Make me sure it's safe. That's wise. There are many more villagers than the ones you've already dealt with. Yeah, let me make sure it's safe, right? I don't know whether we should take him with me. What do you guys? What are your like? What's your? Let me let me ask a poll, actually. Out of interest. We will check for people outside first. Right, just, I'm right. just, uh, just curious what you guys think. Whether we should take him or now. Because part of me thinks this is life's work. He would be probably willing to die for it, right? He'd be or at least willing to die to see it. But at the same time, I'm like, well... I kind of don't want me just don't want him to fucking lean on me all the way, you know. Uh, 
I don't want him to lean on me the whole way. That would be silly. But then also he might have some interesting flavor text. The poll popped up before I said it. Oh my goodness. Well, at least you know what the delay is now. How much is it? Like a minute? 30, it's usually 30 seconds, but because Twitch was being a bit funny earlier, it wouldn't surprise me if it was a minute. No. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know whether to take him or not. Chad, does it make a difference? <laughs> you can come if you carry yourself. That's what I would think. Is this just a kind of go with your heart, doesn't matter vibe? What are you guys saying? Now you trust me. 57% saying yes. Mm. Mm. Go with my heart. Alistair want you to do? I think Alistair, ooh, I don't know. Alistair would probably try and send him home, but eventually give in, because Alistair's a bit of a pushover. I see you're back. Are you ready to go? I've taken. Ah, oh, good. Help me up here. Uh, uh, I should have hard saved I'll try not to this. slow us down. I should have hard saved. We didn't. It's fine. I'll put all my effort into making sure that he doesn't die. If I genuinely have to protect him. Oh, not responding. No, we're fine. Who is Shale? The best companion in the Dragon Age series. That's who I fucking love Shale. I mean, I don't have Shale with me at the moment. Which is a little bit Here shameful. Give me the medallion and let's see if I remember. It doesn't matter too much. Oh, well, see, okay. It can be manipulated just like this. Well, at least and I make this guy happy. At least I make this imaginary away. man in a game happy. That's happy. That's, I mean, that's good. <laughs> Shale is amazing. What would you have said, Eron? What would you have said? How did you know how to do that? There are very few keys like this left in the world. I have seen some. I was gonna force the tie! The combination, it just feels right. It is hard to explain. Now, let's see if we can open this door. There should be a place to insert this. You're not the only one. We usually get ties. Work, work. I've seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. Is he not chilly? You need to stay alert now. I'm sorry. What? Uh, I was a little distracted. Oh, he's gonna get brainwashed, isn't he? These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. Is it safe? I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Oh, no, I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Ann. Is there anything else I need to know about the it temple? It was designed to protect the Ann from those who would steal it or do harm to it. Namely, the Taventer Imperium. Mm, yeah, bananas. I don't like this. I like this guy. I don't intend to harm the Ann. I would hope not. And if the legends speak truly, you will never reach the Ann with malice in your heart. Oh, fuck. We're not going to reach this. eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. We should have brought Lily with us. Beloved, that probably would have been better. Wrath at her betrayers endures. 
Okay. The maker's here. That is what the legend says. And the maker may indeed watch this place. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand. Yeah, thank God I did bring him. Truth draped You're right. in hyperbole and metaphor. After all, no one wants to hear Willie toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. I love him, I don't need to die. Traps them. I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? Try not to get in trouble. I'll be right here if you need me. You fucking I'll better. Need something to write on. You You're back. You fucking Have better. you reached the urn? No. No, yeah, but I want to discuss something oh, with you. I'm just you che checking on him. Fascinating within the temple. No. I have not. I haven't even been in. I'll keep it a fucking eye on you, sir. By the shifting skies of the fade, this is magnificent. Is it? Well, it kind of looks like the same. You know, same superheated wind. Looks like the same old temple we're always in. Let's get rid of the enemy over here, shall we? I can see there was a couple of them Oh, the music's fun! No I think Lily would have had some fun things to say about Andreste. I haven't played okay. This is Grandma's first, um... First, uh, Dragon Age game. Back so sure. What? Oh, yep, there's a man behind us. That's what's coming. Let's <laughs> oh, Did you freeze that poor Alistair? No. Okay, let's take all of their stuff. Thank you very much, Sec. Like, thank you. I think Badger Droid is broken for today as well. Andraste's blessed me. Bless you, Andraste. Bless you. Isn't Andraste the um? Who's the god from um, ba -ba 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 Pillars of Eternity? It's not Andraste, is it? Oh, an adventurer. Oh, oh. Oh. Riders follow after every town ever since my lucky break, deciphering the story. I see it now. How they take locals, uh, the locals closest to me, preventing rest or kinship. I thought this was a road to glory, but I am dodge, oh, dogged at every step by his talons. Gax Kang, curse his name, and the day I heard it. I have their own pantheon and lore. I don't know why I thought it was Andraste. Got it. Like, I thought that one of them was. The God of Death was always my favourite. Can't remember her name. I think it's the VM of the Bee, but I'm not sure. Ooh, private documents! <laughs> Love me some private documents. Okay. Oh, Bereth! Yeah! Yeah. I'm glad I got that right that it did start indeed with a bee. Was that a gift for win? Or the to da -da 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 -da. the thing that began with a T that I didn't read what it was. I only remember the beginning letter of the thing that I pick up. I can get rid of it from my inventory. Thing. Private document. She wants some private documents. Uh, there's this one. The thick tome. What? It? Uh, do I try? I don't know if I do. I'm, I'm not being tricked again, Chad. I'm not being tricked. A priest of Bereth right now in Pillars. I was a uh, un... Uh, oh god, what's it? A godlike. God, death godlike. I was a death godlike and I always chose to side with Bereth because I thought, you know, well, we look the same so we may as well stick together, right? Nah, I'm not being tricked. Oh! Can't unlock! <laughs> It's always Chad, isn't it? It's Chad and Chad. Old books. You think any of those might still be readable? Can I get you a ladder? You can get off my back. Encrypted souls? Uh, scrolls? Oh, we got a quest. 
Now's better than later. Scroll banister. Find someone who can decipher the strange scrolls. Okay. We'll go and ask that uh, that fine gentleman if he can decipher them. I just can't imagine how fucking cold this place is. I also hate that I can't get in this door. Five dollar dues on GOG. You guys can do your own. You can do your own precious playthrough. See whether you want to. You are as uh, sticky fingered as I have been. I can't get in it yet. <gasps> oh no, that's the guy. I was like, who's that? Let's see whether he's got anything to say to me. You having a nice time? You're back. Have you reached the earth? No, uh, but I want to discuss something with you. Oh, did you discover something fascinating yeah. within the temple? I found some, no, apparently not, not fascinating enough for you. I was wondering if you could read the scrolls. There's the men to the left. We could go to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with Suzu. Hey! Hi, Stinky. Hi! I know, I, you don't want to fuss because I don't have any snacks. She's so rude. Go to the left, go to the right. Let's go to the right where there's no evils. All right, all right. All right, all right. You want to get me a ladder say, get off my back? Oh. Have you got Mr. Beaver? You angry at him? Hang on. You angry at Mr. Beaver? You angry at Mr. Beaver? Yeah? Oh. Are you angry? <laughs> Hi, everyone! <laughs> Sorry you didn't miss anything, you just missed Susie being silly. Nah. I don't know what is wrong. I don't know. I don't know whether it's me. I don't know whether it's whether it's Twitch, whether it's stream elements. What time is it? Because it happens almost at the same fucking time each stream. Always at five. Always at five. Yeah, so you got a few Easter eggs in the VOD today. VOD goblins eating well. Don't hold a stuffed beaver there. Oh no. He's he's not technically, but he's a giant he's a giant sloth. He's a giant sloth, so he's not a beaver, but he just he looks like one. Yeah, he's not he's not a not technically a beaver. He's a mega 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 megatherium megatherium. A giant prehistoric sloth. So we've nicknamed Mr. Beaver, who Suzu takes out her infinite amount of frustration and anger on. Whenever she's frustrated that she's not, she's not getting something, she just shakes him. That's because I'm so big, Poto. I'm 220,000 feet tall, so like imagine, you know, size-wise. I see a trap. Yeah, it's to scale, really. Yeah, it's like Twitch is telling me, hey, Badger, it's five. Like, you, f you have to finish on the dot of five. No! What keep playing my game? I ideally want to be. Oh my god, what the. F Look at that! Okay. 
Now's better than later. Something oh. you need, my dear. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Alistair is like, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's like on a website where you go to click something and when you click it, something else loads in and you click the wrong thing. That is what that's like when they just appear in front of you. So annoying. It absolutely pickles my back. Pickles my radishes. Got it. Right, let's head this way. Da da da! Da 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 da! Yes! Oh my god, that, yes, that happens to me when I click, like, I clip something randomly and then I feel really embarrassed that I clipped it and I'm like, oh, well, now. Yeah. Journeyman rune. It is nice having so much space in my inventory because I can just pick up so much more stuff. Everything. Just everything get in my pockets. Oh, I haven't finished! Are they all coming out? Yeah. PTJ! I wanted to like this game so much. You didn't? You didn't like it? Oh, that's such a shame. It's so good, though. It's so good. You can delete the clips you've made on other channels. I... I don't think I knew that. <laughs> I don't think I knew that. Code of code. Maybe I did know that. All right, all right. I'll get on it. Dusty school. <gasps> Ooh! Yeah? Is that the key? Is that the key? It might be slash clip, right? Would it before? Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep on streaming. I don't know why my stream is broken. I don't feel like this is me. But it could be. Why does it happen at the same time? Every day did they kill Brother Gen TV? Where is Brother Gen TV? It's the lady back there. I'm just gonna keep streaming. Oh no, he's just standing back there. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. You did miss the song. You did it. It's a beautiful song. You know, it was the next, uh, next biggest hit, actually. I'm gonna be one of those streamers that go into music. Get your shit together. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Yeah, I want to blame. I want to blame other people. But then you know, obviously, it's not my fault. I'm not like unplugging the router or anything. But all right, all right. I mean, clearly, it's got to be something that. Main hall key. Hey. Maybe it's September just crashing. Alright, alright. Right, lovely. Four streams in one day, we're truly blessed. I hope it doesn't split it into four different vods. Hopefully I'm not down long enough. No, 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 no. Suze hasn't found a cool bung bung bungle. She hasn't she hasn't bungled anything. Yeah, I don't know what ah uh, Oh, it's just such a pain because I know I'm gonna have to try and fix it. <laughs> I don't want to have to 
try and fix anything. I just want things to work as they should. Probably the OBS update. Hmm. Just want. That's great. I'm tired. I just want things to work. Oh, it was supposed to work. Hey, Stealthy! Thanks for going so live so late. It's great, awesome night match stream. <laughs> How everyone get you a coffee? Oh, Stealthy! How long have you been fucking lurking for? Wait, let's go in here. I wanna, I wanna check this out before we finish up. Hey, who is this? It's not the mage. Exactly how I feel about anything technical. I just, just like, I just, I don't understand. You know, I, I do the thing. You just went live. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. You're right. This is the first stream of the day. Good morning, everyone. It's only been a 2.5 minute stream today. You know, I've been, I'm trying out these shorter streams. Um. You know, I'm seeing whether that works with the Twitch algorithm, you know, people are really obsessed with these shorts and stuff um, on YouTube. So I want to, you know, want to see how it does, see how it does on stream. Counter clearly says three minutes. For me, the counter is, it says, says four hours. Click, click that, light that. Oh no, we can't light it. Oh no, there we go, look at that. Wow, very toasty, very toasty. Oh, spamming my inbox with stream notifications. <laughs> you know that—that's how I'm getting. Uh, that's how I'm making sure that people watch. Is that if I just keep going live, I will fill up that inbox, the point where they cannot ignore me anymore. Like you will watch the captive battle stream and you will like it. Oh my goodness! Right. Let's pause, let's pause it here before we crash again. Let's pause it here so we don't crash. I'll be back on Monday. Ah, oh, we might as well just save it as room temple then. We'll be back on Monday with more Dragon Age. Uh, yeah, we'll just be doing this. We'll just be doing the same, same super reheated on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, we are, I'm not sure what we're playing on Tuesday. Uh, we might play Vampire, but we'll see how I feel as to whether I think that the medical stuff's gonna make me feel a bit sicky. Uh, on, on Wednesday, uh, Monkey Island 2. I'm playing Monkey Island 2 on Wednesday. So, and then Friday will be Dragon Age again, probably. No, oh, thank you so much, guys. Thanks for the short stream. Thank you guys for coming back for three minutes. I really appreciate it. Now I really appreciate you guys sticking around even when it buffers and even when it breaks. I'll see if I can fix it. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we fix it. I'm gonna go for a nap as well. So you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, a lovely Saturday, lovely Sunday, and for all of you Americans, have a lovely Labor Day weekend. Make sure you don't, don't do any labor, all right? No labor on Monday. It's a labor-free day. Even though it's called Labor Day, which would suggest that you're gonna do more labor. Less labor, guys, less labor. I will see you tomorrow. Nope. Monday. I'll see you Monday. Thank you so much. And I gotta go. I'm, go I'm, I'm rushing. I'm rushing before it ends. Before it crashes. I'm gonna go out on my 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 turn. My turns. <laughs> Stealthy. Thank you. I will. I absolutely will. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. <laughs>